Make sure to say hi to YouTube now, um, because we're gonna be starting Act Four finally. I'm hearing that Act Four is the um, the more interesting act. Act Three was very slow, but a build up, and now we're getting into the good one, right? Okay. Let's use some more coupons to skip our shift this morning. Huh? Wait, look over there. Isn't that? It's one of Lenny's cards. You're right. Let Paimon see what's written on it. Maybe you haven't heard. But today is the monthly free day. Everyone has the day off today, which makes it the perfect time to do some They get one day off in the entire month? It's That's horrible. It's been a horrible. while since we last talked. Have you been making any progress lately? Let's meet at our usual spot in the factory area before lunchtime. Bet. I have new information. Okay, Ooh, Lenny. It's a lucky day. We have the day off. From the sound of it, Lenny has been making progress with his investigation. Wonder what he's discovered. We still have some time before we meet up. Let's talk with the people here for a bit more before we go. All right, let's do it. You guys also said that Act Four is shorter, right? Like it's not as long. Look, there are some people talking over there. Let's listen in on the conversation. Okay. This is the cannibals. The so-called cannibals. Uh, if you ask me, those pompous parasites on the surface act like they're all a bunch of aristocrats. Do we even give half a hoot about a bunch of dogs like us? Why does he sound like he's from The Sopranos? Hey, speak for yourself, mate. I'm no dog. Oh, you think you're special or something? If you're here, then you're just a convict like the rest of us. True. I've heard that even if you're released after serving your sentence, going back to life on the surface ain't any better. Once a criminal, always a criminal. We're marked for life. You might as well just stay down here. Uh, I don't buy that. Hey. How cool would it be if the whole world was destroyed by a giant flood and everyone had to start over from nothing? <laughs> I'm sorry, but that was just like such a random thing for them to be talking about. Like, yeah, once you become a criminal, you're marked for life. Yeah, life down here isn't that great, but it is what it is. Hey, uh, guys, wouldn't it be, like, really cool if there was, like, a giant flood and, like, <laughs> killed everyone? I was just making conversation. Bro, what's so f***ing random, dude. What kind of filthy bilge water are you spewing? <laughs> I have family up there. You best shut your sewer hole with talk like that. Sewer hole? I'm saying that to people now. Shut your sewer hole. Listen, things ain't so great on the surface, but who says that you have to leave? I've heard that you can still stay here and work even after you've served your sentence. Not bad if you ask me. Why are you yelling so much? Tone it down a little bit, Grumpy. Oh, his name is Grumpy Convict. Who that makes sense. Who wants to live though. in the ruddy overworld anyway? <laughs> and what makes you think they'd want to hire someone like you? <laughs> this guy's about to get yeah, shanked, dude. The mysteries of the universe, how someone as useless as you is so confident. You're going to get shanked. Whoa. Sounds like they're really unhappy about the overworld. Yeah. Speaking of which, Paimon never heard anyone use the words overworld or underworld when we were living up there. Is it only something the inmates down here say? I mean, I guess so. It makes That's sense. That's true. They live in an underworld versus overworld. All right. <laughs> Let's go investigate some more. Yeah, two seconds later, he's just gonna keep meowing at me for uppies. There's a group of people over there. Let's go listen in. Okay. What are they so talking I about? I said that's not a faucet. Hey, hey, who are you two? Why'd you come over all of a sudden? Oh, uh, sorry for eavesdropping. Sounds like you were talking about something private. I don't like the way they just turn their heads uh, on us. What's the matter? <laughs> They're just looking to join in on our fun, that's all. They, 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 he stole my character. What's the matter? They're just looking to join in on the fun, that's all. Hey, don't pretend like it's okay for them to just interrupt us like that. <sighs> Fine. You're lucky we don't mind extroverts that much. Thanks, you guys are really nice. <laughs> you hear that, Quisto? What nice. What's his name? Quisto? Your expressions tell me you're looking to hear some juicy info, am I right? <laughs> but before that, it just so happens 
Then I know you two. Yeah, what's my name? Quisto. Really? Are we that famous? You kidding? How often does anyone get a personal tour led by His Grace himself? Mm. Practically everyone was talking about it. Word has it that you also caused quite the kerfuffle. We did. We ate a whole cake. Chocolate. A uh, little mistake, huh? I like the way you put it. You see, people with a good attitude can join our group anytime. Unlike some of the others here. This guy stole my character. I feel Your group? I'm Cuisto, and this is Lavaroon. Lavaroon. People usually call us the Bombshell Bros, but don't worry. We're not playing with bombs or anything. It's just that our information is always so explosive, and we blow minds on the regular. Okay. So, you two really like to gossip? You sure know how to embellish. We blow everyone's minds. That's what we call ourselves the Explosion Boys. No, no. You don't get it. Knowing intelligence will make things better for you here. For example, knowing who's working with whom, who has the latest rumors, who's not getting along. Wouldn't you like to know all that? Sure, fill us in. Whoa, all this info's worth something, you know? You should prove you're worthy of it. You want coupons? I don't mind him. Quisto's always this way. Just play nice and say something to massage his ego. The welfare meals. Talk about the welfare meals. We ate the most incredible welfare meal recently. Right, right. That meal we had yesterday was super delicious. Paimon can still taste it whenever she closes her eyes. Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> to tell you the truth, I've been helping out with making those welfare meals. I've been working as a kitchen assistant for about a month and a half now. Oh, good for you. Looks like you can spend some time out of the kitchen. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, so you're the one who made those delicious steaks. Amazing. You could be a professional chef. Oh, we're playing to his ego. You are correct. I am a true professional. In fact, I even went to culinary school. But since you like my cooking, I guess that means we share similar tastes. For real. Listen. Carefully, this little bombshell will help you learn what's really going on here. He did a fortress. great job on those purple steaks. Huh, the lava rune just wink at me? It seems he's saying, don't be upset, he's a good fellow. Listen, kids, the power structure within the fortress is quite complicated. Okay. The overworlders couldn't care less about us down here. We're basically dogs to them. Hmm. Shao and you, welcome to our today. You've already met the one person here you should never cross, the Duke, Risley. He knows more than yeah. you think. And if he doesn't care about something, then he often doesn't bother dealing with it. Okay. Those who have the Duke's attention get all kinds of special perks, even better treatment in the infirmary. I know who you mean. It's that jury or character, right? Who? I don't think there's anything useful about him at all. Why is he visit the infirmary practically every day? Is it normal for anyone to be going in and out of there so often? If you ask me, he's just faking it to get out of work. But did you know that Churia was a talented researcher from the Fontaine Research Institute before he came here? There's no denying that. I don't care if he was a researcher that could turn dirt into mora. Once you're in the fortress of Meripede, you're just another inmate like everybody else. Ah, oh, interesting. According to Quisto, a person named Jury frequents the infirmary. I should take note of that. Speaking of which, the last time I saw him, he was passing by in the corridor with Lord. V. I just say Grizzly. I, I like also that. heard they started arguing in the library and got into a fight. Right? Guess that's just how terrible of a guy he is. You mean he hit a woman? Wow. I never imagined he was that bad. But that Lorvine's also quite the odd one, you know. She's always gabbing away, got into a fight with a man, and she also got sent to the infirmary. Come to think of it, I always see her going to the sick bay every couple of days, too. Hmm. Huh. Wait a second. You don't think. Do you think it could it be that they're secretly meeting there to go on dates? Ah, but it's really hard to imagine. After all, hmm. I do remember seeing Lorvine beat Jerry to a pulp that one time. And we might be overthinking things. Hmm. So Jerry had a conversation with a girl named Lorvine, who also frequents visits uh, the infirmary. I'll remember that, too. 
Hey, you over there? Hello? Who, me? Yeah, you. Say, do you like playing card games? You know, like Genius Invocation TCG? I don't got time for this. Your TCG players are like mint in the wild, literally sprouting up everywhere. <laughs> hey, come on now. What's wrong oh with finding God. fellow invocation aficionados? Anyway, care to join me for a game? No, thanks. We're busy with other things in the moment. Huh, all right. No pressure. But why would you be looking for people to play Genius Invocation Sino in a place love like prison. this? Don't people usually come here to fight? <laughs> Whether you're throwing down cards or throwing punches, it's all a competition, isn't it? Kill that it's guy? No, he's nice. Eyes. There are lots of card players here in the fortress. When I saw you, I immediately thought, hey, even outsiders from other nations play cards. So I came over to say hi. Would you mind chatting with us for a moment? Sure. Great! Since you've been here longer he than seems us, like a nice you need to flex your seniority a little bit, right? Maybe you could start by telling us newcomers some stories about this place. I thought you would have already heard everything by now. No. All right, then. Did you have anything specific in mind? Or do you want me to just pick a topic? I got Why some specific. We'll let you know oh, never mind. Heard it already. All right. Have you heard any strange rumors since you've arrived? Cannibals. Then did you know that there are some people who are always gossiping over in the corner? No. You mean Quisto and Luverun? Yes, yeah, so you've already met those two. Yes. <laughs> They're quite a pair. They always keep an eye out for the latest happenings and gossip about everything. I've never seen anyone with more time on their hands. I heard that they used to be a chef and a bartender before they were sent down here. Huh. You know how bartenders are. Always chatting with customers. That makes sense. And chefs love to pass the time just hanging out when they're not cooking. I wonder why they went to prison then. Hmm. Good to know. Do you have anything else to tell us? Hmm. Let me think. Sounds like you want to hear something a little more tantalizing. Oh. Give me the you know good the juice. Duke was also a convict in the fortress of Meripede before? No. I didn't know that. Huh? Wait. Are you serious? That's right. The Duke was an inmate just like you and me. Seems he was exiled here for committing some crime. Who knows how he ended up rising up to become the warden, though. Interesting. Now we're getting in some good lore. Go from an ordinary inmate to becoming the manager of the whole place? I'm not gonna lie. I kind of respect that. Hey, you know, by the way, do you happen to know anything about the Forbidden Zone? A Forbidden Zone? Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like something that someone just made up. No. Oh. I've never heard of that. Where did you hear about it? Here? In prison? It's just a rumor we've been hearing, but no worries if you've never heard of it. Do you have anything else you can tell us? Anything else? Hmm, not that I can think of, but I'll be sure to tell you anything interesting I hear next time. You'll have to play a game of Genius Invocation with me first, though. Never mind, I'll get my information from someone else. Okay, Bye. to just about everyone, and it's about time for us to go meet Lenny. All right, let's go meet Lenny. Traveler is a According VIP in all regions. Us, we True. Go meet him in the production zone. All right, let's go then. Question: What is the best F2P show you've seen? A million of them. I've seen a lot of good ones. Hey, there's Lenny. Huh? Huh? Hey, psst. it's me, Doro. That look in your eyes. You found something? A little something, yeah. Hey, this is no time to be modest. Just tell him we found a boatload of information. Yeah. Oh, as expected of the legendary duo, you have my full and undivided attention. Oh, okay. You summarize your findings to Lenny. Huh. I'd have never guessed that myself. The rumors swirling about this place are unreliable after all. And Master Child probably went missing because he found a way out. Mm -hmm. He is a harbinger after all. I suppose he's much more resourceful than I initially gave him credit for. Bro, he's a harbinger. Why didn't you give him credit? Like, he's insane. Unfortunately, this isn't enough for our final report to Father. We need to find out Master Child's exact whereabouts. Okay. Father told me that even though Master Child said he was just coming to Fontaine for a vacation, he actually had some personal reasons. His agenda, agenda. might be linked to his disappearance. The most important thing right now is to catch up to him. His escape route is 
already flooded, so we'll have to test someone with professional diving skills to chase after Like it. Fremine? Well, when you put it that way, it's obvious that only Fremine would be up to the task. Exactly. Bingo! Is he around? He's working today. Coming here as a group would have attracted too much attention. I'll talk to him about it later. Please do. We're counting on you. It's the least I can do. We're all in this together, so it's only fair for us to fulfill our end of the bargain. Honestly, I'm far more impressed by you guys managing to collect all this information right under Risley's watchful eyes. Dude, I'm pretty sneaky, not gonna lie. <laughs> Collecting information has always been our strong point. Now, let me think. To find out more information, Fremine will have to retrace Master Child's original route. Mm -hmm. And if he's to do that, he'll have to set out on the next pipe cleaning day at the earliest. That's six days from now. Hmm. This is too much math. For and me. after that, he'll probably take another two or three days to return. Dude, that's like seven months. You can even estimate how long it'll take for him to get back? We've been working together for a long time. We know each other's capabilities like the backs of our hands. Paimon, they're literally siblings. Traveler, what say you to meeting here nine days from now? We'll be able to pick up Fremine while we're at it, too. Oh, and there's just one last thing we'd like your help with. Yes, and that is? Though we can just sit back and wait for Fremine's report on Master Child's whereabouts, yes. we still need to make more progress on the investigation of the Forbidden Zone. We just need to go to the Forbidden Zone, dude. Well, Fremine's no master of disguise. Lynette's still working on getting intel from the other areas, and I'll need to spend some time helping Fremine prepare for his diving mission. So it's me. So it's up to me. You are the only ones we can count on. Of course. What do you want us to do? Will it be hard? Well, I won't call it easy per se, but I think you'll be able to pull it off. Listen carefully. You'll need to find an excuse to get into the infirmary and investigate the room and environs. Okay. You've mentioned several sketchy looking people always meeting at the infirmary earlier. So it probably has something to do with the secret we're hoping to uncover. You've already met the head nurse, so she'll be less suspicious of you. Okay. Investigate the internal structure of the infirmary and any active dealings within, and pass those on to me alongside anything else you're what able to Lenny discover. What if Lenny betrays us in the end? But also, there's no I would need hate to that, take dude. risks. Don't forget, safety always comes first. Sounds good. I'll give him my best shot, Lenny. Uh, my apologies. I just started rambling out of habit. It was almost as if I was talking to my younger brother. Why would he? I mean, because of his father, you know? But that's not a bad thing, right? Not a good person, you know what I'm saying? But what if uh, I'm the older brother? All right, then we'll head out as soon as we finish our prep. Wow, dark much? I'm sorry. Let's you never go know. You gotta, be, for now. you gotta be prepared Don't for this forget, kind of stuff. We meet here again in nine days. Stay safe. I'll be counting. I can barely count past seven, but I'll try. After doing some prep work with Paimon, you, I can't, I can't read that. Oh, yo, I can't read that fast. Please. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, stay here for now. Paimon will take a peek. Okay, don't get caught. Hmm. Hmm? There seem to be several people inside. Let's try to eavesdrop on them first. You and Paimon hide in the corner and try your rest of the I can't. Several people appear to be engaged in the conversation, but you only. I can't read that. I can't read that fast. It's not impossible. It's a bit hard to understand them from here, so why don't we just try to talk to them in person? I mean, I guess Let's so. Let's go as soon as you're ready. Hey, I totally wasn't eavesdropping on you guys, but uh, hello, hi. If you recall correctly, that potion that resulted in the failed attempt at the alchemy, you I can't. Mm. <coughs> Did Hoyoverse really get? Someone, please help! He, he's sick. <laughs> Did they really get him to come into the studio just to do? <clears throat> All right, Zach, that's all we needed from you. Uh, we'll see you in another six months or so for one line, two lines. I got you. <laughs> and they paid him a million dollars. Whoa, are you okay? Oh my. What's wrong, little one? 
there's no need to panic. Take a deep breath before you begin. I love her design. She's adorable. Also, I just drank sewer water and I think there was a piece of corn poop in there. I'm throwing up now. The traveler started complaining of a stomach ache and then nausea and then collapsed onto the ground. Nausea, upset you. stomach, diarrhea, like the commercials. Freezing limbs, twitching fingers, and pale complexion. <gasps> Could it be poison? Let me take a look. Please, lie down over here. Uh, my stomach really hurts. <sighs> Don't worry. I'm I'll get too. you to the bed safely. Here, hold on to my shoulder and walk slowly. I had too much lasagna. <gasps> you can do it, traveler. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. You're sick after all. Now, please relax. I'm just going to do a preliminary Look, if Zach's not going to voice act, I will do the voice acting. Singuini has taken out a few instruments and begun to do her checkup. I hope I'm not so healthy that she gets suspicious. <sighs> I see now. My checkup has confirmed that he's not in any mortal danger. <sighs> that's our worst fear out of the way. Well, that's good. Eh? Oh, that's good. But I'll continue my diagnosis of the patient now. Please relax and take a deep breath. My pancreas. Uh... Singuini's using her hands to palpate different areas on my abdomen. Seems like she's using elemental energy too. Her expression's growing more and more relaxed. <sighs> Don't sense serious damage to your organs either. Does it hurt when I press here? Nah, it's not too bad. Huh. I think I'm here? dying. Ugh, that hurt a little. Huh? But based on my initial checkup, there shouldn't be a problem here. <laughs> oh, how strange. We're just gonna confuse her. Oh no, was my acting a bit over the top? Oh, I'm feeling better now, I'm feeling better now. Quit, Paimon, shank me. Mm. What about here? Does this hurt? No, uh, not really. can barely feel it. Oh, hmm. I understand. So that's what it is. You have diarrhea. That's okay. There's a bucket over there. I think you just ate something that disagreed with you. That's all. Nothing too serious. Huh. Outside of a pretty bad stomach ache when it decides to act up. Yeah, I did have seven lasagnas. <laughs> <sighs> so that's what it is. Thank goodness it's not anything more serious. Yeah, Traveler, you shouldn't have eaten all those lasagnas. You shouldn't have eaten all those lasagnas. Ah, they were just so tempting and so good. Mm-hmm. And there have been other inmates complaining about the food recently. It's pretty I'll vile. I'll head chef, Mr. Wolsey, of this problem as soon as possible. My meat was purple. Meat ain't supposed to be purple, right? Chat, I'm in a weird mood now. This is bad. I've been streaming too long. I had another thing of energy. I'm in a weird mood. Buckle up, because I'm in a weird mood. Congratulations. The health risk is incredibly low, so you should recover within a couple days. Why don't you take a rest here while I go get some medicine for you? Th thanks, Inguini. Miss Lorvine, I'll have to trouble you to help me look after this new patient while I'm gone. Ryan, thank you for the two month resub. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm glad that you like the content. Very well. Ah, and she hopped away just like that. <laughs> Whew, this infiltration mission is going much more smoothly than I imagined. Next, there's only two people left in the room. Sijween uh, si just called that woman Lorvine, so she has to be one of those frequent visitors to the infirmary I've heard about before. Would that mean the man next to her is uh, Jeru then? Hello, so how are you feeling now? I'm feeling fine. Now talk. Still not great. I can't keep staring at her. It'll draw unwanted attention. That guy also seems to have, un uh, have noticed. Now he's looking in my direction too. Chat, I swear to God, when I'm out in public, I always think like this. I'm overthinking everything. <gasps> the person's looking at me. Do I have something on my face? Oh no. Uh, um, uh, 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 uh. Overthinking. For real. Social anxiety. <laughs> I can barely look you in the eye. His stomach aches really bad. He was stumbling about the whole way here, so Paimon's really worried. His pants filled with poop. That's horrible. 
If Miss Sijuin says it's not a serious problem, then there's no need to worry. She's the best medic we've got down here. I think she's the only medic you have down here, so... But it also looks like she's the only <laughs> medic you've got down here. <laughs> god damn it. Oh my god. Okay, I think Paimon and I are just on the same wavelength at this point, dude. Uh, <laughs> not almost that being verbatim. Paimon... <laughs> mood, for real. Uh, well, that's true. Touche. What do you mean, that's true? That's really misrepresenting the situation. Of course I can't speak for the whole fortress, but I it's not her. like everyone imprisoned here is useless, you know? Um, kind of, you know, they're, they're, they're criminals. Though they may have committed crimes and gotten locked up here as a result, they still know a thing or two about medicine, and they help Miss Sichuan take care of the sick and injured. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But he sounds you have so to annoyed with her. me about it in front of another patient. Aren't you a patient too? Where did all your energy come from? Alani. Uh. Ah, huh, that's correct. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bit ahead of myself. Are you two also sick? We've been sick a while. I come back every once in a while for checkups okay. and to pick up the medicines Miss Sijuin prescribes for us. That's just the nature of chronic illnesses. As for her... What are your, what are your illnesses? <laughs> you could say she fancies herself as Miss Sijuin's capable helper because she learned a bit of medical knowledge ages She's ago. She's a teacher's pet chat. Please watch your mouth, Mr. Jurier. Don't forget that you are the primary reason I have frequent heart palpitations. Okay, do they just like... And this is a serious question. I am not joking when I say this. Like... Where there are no R's, are there R's in French language? Like, do they just put R's in things? Because she said jurier. There's no R, though. So is that, like, an actual thing that they do? Or no? Anyone who's French here? I don't know. Do we have any French people? I want to know. Hey, don't start arguing now. Please keep oh, sure. a at least. Well, because some people say nervalet with an R, but there's no R in there, you know? These two seem to have a pretty terrible relationship. And only ran into each other because they came here to pick up their meds at the same time. So they're not friends. We've deduced that. Books. Chest. But outside of the two of them, there's nothing suspicious inside the room. All the files on the table appear to be patient records. And while there's a box, I can't check it out right now. There's also... There also aren't that many furnishings on the wall. Huh. Wait. There seems to be a movable hatch on the ground over there. Hey, hey! There's no need to fight! Everyone will be released someday, so there's no need to argue over silly things like this! Oh, Paimon, you think they're gonna get out of prison? Oh. Innocent soul. <laughs> but... <laughs> Release. It's way too early for us to even think about that. <laughs> See? And who yeah. the heck knows if we'd even be able to continue our previous lives? You wouldn't. The presence of the movable hatch is, isn't strange by itself, but perhaps it's my adventure's intuition speaking, but isn't it a bit strange that there's a movable hatch here of all places? I don't know. Is it hiding something? Please allow me to end this boring and useless conversation. Oh, and Mr. Jurier, I don't want to see your face here again anytime soon. She sounds annoying, but she hates him. And same to you, Miss Lorveen. Anyway, that was more than enough rest for me, so I'm going to get out of this excessively noisy place. <laughs> See you later, everyone. Oh my god, boom, roasted. He just slowly walked off like that? He don't care. <laughs> That's just what he's like. Oh god. I'm they're sorry, in love. You think they they want each other? They're in love. I'm Lorvine, and that well, his name is Jurier, but I hope you'll never have cause to remember his name. I think they're in love. That's what it is, yeah. Yeah. That's apparently the closest way English speakers can approximate some French pronunciation if they cannot understand it. Oh, that makes sense. You really can't stand him, huh? They are passionately in love, Paimon. I mean, can you blame me? Look, who would like someone who's as arrogant and obsessed with weird research topics as he is? Hmm... <clears throat> but there's no need to keep dwelling on him. I, I'll accompany Why you. Why does that sound like Mona's while. voice actress? 
Miss Seashween should be back soon, and I'm sure you'll feel better as soon as you've had some of her medicine. Thank you for looking after me. No, no. It's nothing. I'm back. Did you rest like you promised? I tried. Thank you for getting our medicine, Miss Seashween. Did you all cooperate with your bed rest? I trust that nobody got up to walk around. <laughs> Good. Here. This should be two days' worth of medicine for you. For free? Take one pill now, and then continue your bed rest. Dude, the healthcare system here is actually really good. You take this uh, stomach ache pill that uh, Sijri gave you. Ah, uh, Miss Lorvine, I left in a bit of a hurry just now. Do you still remember if we discussed Universal the healthcare? The pill that you should be taking Whoa. today? Whoa. <sighs> I remember. You said it should be yellow. Did they talk about that before we walked in? Why don't I remember? Yellow, huh? I understand. These are yours. Please, make sure to go to bed early after taking them tonight. You'll benefit from a good night's sleep. You're just giving out medicine? Bro, I think Hoyoverse is trying to tell us prison ain't all that bad. Free healthcare? Free food? Honest day's work? All right, then I'll also Something be to consider. Now. I hope you feel better soon too. Thanks. See ya. I'm going to fill out your medical record now. You're widely known as the traveler, right? I am. I just want to double check a few details, if that's all right with you. Uh, sure. Those two made quite the commotion just now, so why don't we let the traveler rest? Paimon can answer the questions instead. I said I'm going to ask him questions. Mm hmm So his primary symptoms are abdominal pain with secondary symptoms of nausea. Uh, is there anything else? Hmm. That's it. All right, then. Is there anything we should know besides to take the meds? No, his base constitution is quite good, so I'm sure he'll recover quite quickly after taking the medicine. Okay. Please, make sure to stick to bland or less stimulating foods, and don't stay up too late at night. <sighs> that means no... That means no lasagna? Man... Dope on wheels. Thank you for the tier 3 sub, dude. You did not have to do that, but thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy the tier 3 sub. Um, and thank you for the support. I really appreciate that. You didn't have to do that. Got it. Paimon will hold the traveler to that for sure. But she won't. Sijween's still looking at me. I should try to take a little nap, like she said. Oh, you're going to take a nap already? Yes. Okay, then. You get some rest. You move yourself to a regular patient's bed and relax completely. The awareness of your... You can, however, still catch some hints of Paimon's conversation with Sijween. We've been to lots of places together. He may look a bit under the weather now, but he's actually super strong. Dude, she's telling her everything. Stop. So you're the best of companions. Well, don't worry. He'll recover soon. We can't trust anybody here, chat. Can't trust anybody. Companion, the word brings forth a wave of comfort. You let yourself oh, relax. You're awake. Huh? Where am I? How do you feel? You slept for a really long time, but we never left. I feel a lot better. Thank you both. Well, now you can go back without a worry in the world. Remember to take your meds regularly. And remember, bland foods. No lasagnas. Yes, I have been live for five hours. I don't know how long Act 4 is, but we're finishing Act 4 today. We're probably going to be live for like seven hours today. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss Sijuin. I just feel like Act something. 3 was to too repetitive. Like that, you know? and even sleep talk the entire time, you scared Paimon half to death. Did I say anything I shouldn't have? No, but you kept mumbling things along the lines of, Pyron, go take my grilled fish and put down the Adeptus Temptation now. Chat, I have, an un I have a weird fear of always like, I, I don't sleep talk, but I'm always afraid of sleep talking because what if I say something bad, you know? I might talk to like, what if I say I love Audie? Like, she seems like she she's can't just know a that. sincere nurse, and Paimon didn't notice anything unusual in the room. Are you sure we're not going off track with the infirmary? I don't know. Are we really off track, though? There are still a few weird things about the place. That movable hatch on the ground, as well as the question Sijuin asked Lorvine. And also... Were they really talking about their meds before we walked in? Oh, and was Lorvine and Jurer's uh, argument genuine? Or were they just putting on a show? 
Paimon, hear me out. Oh, you really are super thorough. All those tiny little suspicious things that Paimon didn't even pick up on. We've got to get the info to Linny. Yep. That's gay. I hate you. What? <laughs> I'd be like, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, for real. Calling Paimon out in her sleep just how, how much we steal her food. For real, dude. I like that. Canonically, he talks in his sleep and complains about Paimon. You manage to pass the slip to a busy Lynette as she uh, happens to pass by. Her disguise is impeccable and she does not even look at you or change expression as she pockets the info. Her disguise? She's literally in her normal skin. And finally, the promised ninth day arrives. Here's the day! Let's go meet up with Lenny! Oh! Hmm? I thought we were just making weird noises. Did you two run into any trouble over the past few days? Uh, not really. No, we just worked our shifts according to the schedule. Nothing weird happened. Hmm, that's good. That means you didn't raise any suspicions when you infiltrated the infirmary. We've taken a look at the slip you've sent. Fremenay successfully left the grounds via the pipes two days ago. Okay. And as of last night, Lynette has also infiltrated the infirmary after faking an illness. Nice. I did Wait, the same why thing. why is she getting involved as well? You already went above and beyond when you scoped out the infirmary. To put it more bluntly, even if we were to view that as something you did in exchange for Fremenay's help, you've already done more than enough. Oh, sick. Infiltrating a guarded stronghold is a different kind of job from a one-off investigation. We want to avoid using the same faces over and over and reduce the amount of suspicion that will fall on any given person. Okay. Lynette also felt like you have already taken the first step for us, so she should be the one to finish the job. So that's what hmm. Lynette thinks. Oh, Paimon hopes everything's going well for her. Yeah, I'm not opposed to be, uh, helping you. Hmm, perhaps that's true. You are both very good people, and we've come to appreciate that more than anyone else. Unfortunately, there's still one thing that could get between us, lest you've forgotten. The matter of our respective loyalties. I knew this would come up. You've mentioned before that you've had some run-ins with the Fatui. I have. I can understand that feeling. So I assume you're just helping us out of the kindness of your hearts? Well, everyone could use some more friends. We'll be mm. counting on you to help us in the future, too. Mm-hmm. Since I see you as friends, then it's even more important for us to protect you from any peril. Fremenay and Lynette feel the same way. Okay, I get it now. Glad to hear it. Then, let's go check on Lynette before Fremenay returns. If everything went well, then she should be wrapping up her investigation right about now. Alright. Is now really a good time to go over? According to my observations, Sijuin always spends around half an hour away from the infirmary right before lunch. Lynette so she's taking well, long lunches, So this should chat. be a good time to meet up with her. Oh, yeah, we heard about that, too. Also, I'm her brother, remember? It's only natural for an older brother to care about his younger sister's well-being. Hmm. Okay, then let's head over right away. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get to the good part of Act 4, please. Can you hit the gritty while the abs run? I did not know how to do the gritty in real life. Only my that Fortnite character. should be here right now. Huh. Is this where y'all have been sleeping? Strange. Lynette? As expected, Sijuin isn't here, but... Oh, wait, this is the... Why isn't Lynette right? here? Could she have found uh, a lead? No, Lynette rarely deviates from the plan. We agreed that if she were to make changes on the fly, she'd find a way to let me know. Unless... Let's see if there are any clues around here. All right. We can look while we wait for her. Okay. Let's look for clues. Okay. There are some books here and a few files. They all look like medical records. I think we're breaking some sort of law by looking through people's hmm. personal records. Advanced nursing, how to raise the spirit of your patients, a quick guide to the psychology of emotions, and the meaning of laughter. Okay. These sure are some interesting books. Who knew Sijuin would be interested in these kinds of things? She even has books on understanding people's motivations and feelings. Interesting. Hmm. 
Is it because she's a melazine? Or does she have a need to understand her patient's emotional state? Hmm. Seems Probably both, I think. Me. These are skills that would come in handy for a nurse from time to time. To get to know people better, you know? Right, let's investigate the bed, I guess. None of the beds have any signs of having been slept in. Except that one over there. That's the one Lynette must have used, right? You said she was pretending to be sick. Mm-hmm. She would have said her migraine was having a particularly bad flare-up. Generally speaking, the head nurse would then ask her to lie down and rest while she left to retrieve the medication. But this bed is still unmade. Which means either the head nurse didn't return the entire time from when Lynette laid down up until she left the bed, or the nurse intentionally left it this way. Oh no, that is not a good sign. <laughs> okay. The hatch. Ah, this is it. We saw it before. Wait, this thing? It doesn't look like it's been disguised that well. Do they want us to find it? Lenny leans down to get close to the movable hatch. The space behind it is empty. From its size, I don't think it's an entrance that is meant to be taken apart. There's probably a mechanism around here somewhere. Could Lynette have tried to get inside? Huh. But if that's the case, she would have contacted me for sure. Hmm. Let's look around here for some more clues. Okay. Don't panic, just take another look. But look on Lenny's face. He's definitely beginning to panic. Don't panic. He probably said that subconsciously more for himself than anything else. Okay, so things are He's starting to worry a little bit. Hey, you guys, there's a slip of paper over here. A slip of paper? It's right over here, and there's a bunch written on it too. It reads, out of respect for your usual practices, I'll use a piece of paper or card as the medium to pass on my message. You may consider this as me giving you my best regards. Oh? This is... Is... is that all? Is there anything on the back? The back? Ah, this... this is... Show me! Now! <laughs> that, that look on your face! P Paimon's reading it now! Would you care to guess where Miss Lynette of the Fatui could be right now? No! Could she have... Is she already... Risley... Did he deliberately leave the infirmary unguarded to use it as bait? I could see that. Wait, you mean... He was aware of our, our goals, goals from, from the, the beginning. very beginning? But... Why? Hmm. We didn't run into any trouble last time, and he also never reached out to us since. Why would he choose to act during our second infiltration attempt instead of the first? Yes. To trick us, that maybe? That is a crucial question. Risley... He doesn't do anything without a clear goal or reason. Yeah. So this means he had no concerns about your activities from the very beginning. You are not from the same camp as us. You were sent down here by Nervilet, so you have no conflict of interest with Risley. We're a completely different story, though. But why did he only go after Lynette? I'd like to know that, too. Why did he only go after her? <laughs> Don't panic. Just think everything over. I have to stay calm. I feel calm. bad for him. He's like panicking this for his like sister. It's not like what happened last time. The situation's different now. <laughs> Aw. Wait, you're right. Wait, but that means the fact that Fremine was able to leave the grounds. Could Risley have let him go as well? Mm. What, what does he gain by letting Fremine leave like that? I get it now. I don't. He deliberately made them both disappear. <sighs> So he's challenging me and trying to provoke me. I'm sure of it. Mm. Uh, we never should have sent out Fremine. We had to go through all that trouble to find an opening to sneak him around the guards and into the pipe, and we even thought luck was on our side. If Risley let him leave on purpose, then he's probably in a terrible spot now as well. So we have to save them. Lenny's getting more and more panicked. We have to calm him down. I got this. Lenny, calm down. <laughs> Child, that was our fault. No, I'm the leader of this operation, and I'm the one responsible for this team. I was the one who failed to protect them. He literally has PTSD. I'll go talk to Risley. Yeah, Lenny, just don't panic. Come on, simple. Hey, don't be reckless. Traveler, please talk some sense into him. I simply cannot allow Lynette to be abducted again. 
Yeah, this is PTSD for sure. I have to go. I'll find a way to get them back. I think you're playing into his trap, He's but okay. The door. After him. Let's go. She was there the entire time? Not the little I smile, feel like dude. We still have some room to make changes on these details. It's not impossible, but it'll require hmm. extensive testing. Is that so? Very well. Then please be mindful of the time. <laughs> little rat. Oh my god. Huh? Is someone? Pack everything up. Whoever's outside is eavesdropping. They'll probably come in once we stop talking. They knew we were it's eavesdropping. Fine. Please help! He, he's there! Whoa, are you okay? Too much lasagna. Uh, these two. As expected, they've already... They were on to us the entire time. Oh, they are quite sharp. What a delightful turn of events. I like smart people, but I also like playing dumb. I like the feeling of being trusted. Oh, bro. Bro. That is creepy. That is so creepy. Just her smile. She's like, I like being trusted, bro. Psychopath. Oh, my. What's wrong, little one? There's no need to panic. Take a deep breath. She's all cute and begin. adorable. She's a sociopath. Being able to read human expressions is quite the useful skill. Wait! Wait! Hey! No use. We have to catch up to him. Lenny, get back here. He's already out of sight. How is he so fast? Don't worry, I'll him find him. At Risley's office. Oh, it was right. It was. I found it. I found it. I found it. It took me a little longer, but I found it. Come out and face me, Risley. There he is. Hmm. Aren't we at an administrative office space? Why don't you at least try to follow even a couple rules from the fortress's indoor management regulations? What did you do to my sister? I ran into the young miss at the infirmary. I'd heard that she was suffering from quite the migraine, so I decided to invite her over for a cup of tea. I do have some teas in my collection that can work wonders against such an illness. Creepy, but okay. Stop joking around. Where did you take my siblings? I have also heard that your performances are quite the spectacle. Miss Lynette would sometimes enter a box filled with water, only to emerge the next second from another place altogether. Maybe she'll appear behind you right now if you were to turn your head. I'm not going to fall for that. Is he trying to trick me into turning my head? Yes, probably. No, he's probably not looking to attack me right now. All of the hostages are in his hands, and he's even in the mood for small talk. That means Lynette is probably still alive. You knew we were investigating the infirmary from the start. So you deliberately aroused the traveler's suspicions and baited us into continuing our investigation. Dude, really just smart. so that you'd be able to kidnap Lynette. <sighs> As for Fremenay, no, you probably didn't even interfere with Child's escape. You let him go so you could purge the Fatui members that we had planted into your ranks. So you figured it all out. Lenny. There was no need to do so. The fortress of Meripede is a pretty pleasant place. Most people enjoy their lives here. The only ones who act differently are those with personal agendas. It was quite easy to identify your colleagues. Dang. You removed our original members and spread the news of Child's escape so Father would assign our team to come down and investigate. Fremenay has also fallen into your hands, right? If you're oh so omnipotent and so in control, why would you need hostages? One correction. Lynette is in my hands right now, but Fremenet is not. I killed him. What? He's not. What do you really want? Lenny! I'm here. Oh, wonderful. Everyone is here, so I'll only need to say this once. Thank you so much for cooperating with me. Bro. Oh my god. I hate him, but I love him. Where are Lynette and Fremenay? I'm eager into the point, I see. Alas, only Miss Lynette is currently having a cup of the fortress's finest tea. Although, as per your original plan, Mr. Fremenay should also have returned to the fortress by now. 
but he has neither shown up within my gates, nor has he been taken into any kind of custody. So where do you think he may be right now? I don't know. Stop playing mind games with me. Wait, you can't mean you locked him outside in the sea? No way. I closed the fortress's gate to the outside world. That's all. <laughs> oh my god. Fremen is a star diver, so he should be fine, right? No, we're still here, so he definitely tried to find a way to come back for us. So we can't assume he might have made a break for the surface. Bro, imagine if Fremene died and he was like, I just closed the gate. That's all I did. Oh my God, Risley. Why would I do this? You may be asking. To have an audience with you, of course. My intel tells me that Mr. Linney is a great magician. So it's only natural for me to want to have some cards of my own when it comes to negotiating. Okay. Besides... I do recall you mentioning to Miss Lynette that you've always wanted to have a face-to-face -face meeting with the Lord of the Fortress of Meripede, regardless of whether it was in a personal or a professional capacity. Well, you got your wish. Dude, this voice actor, killing it, bro. So good. So, you've been keeping tabs on us before we even set foot in the fortress. Dude, he's like Batman. He's like 10 steps ahead. Some of my folks just happened to hear a thing or two, that's all. In any case, I will be straight with you. I was willing to play dumb and turn a blind eye, so we had a pleasant few days playing games together here. But once you started focusing on the Forbidden Zone, all of that changed. Mr. Linney, the cards are stacked against you right now. Miss Lynette is in my hands, and Mr. Fremenet is still slowly being pickled out there in the brine. Pickled out? You know out just as well as I that he cannot last out there forever. Dude, he is so badass. Oh my god, commanding. You need do but one thing to guarantee their safety. I would like you to contact your superior and ideally invite her over for a cup of tea with me. You just need to do one thing for me. I want to become your stepfather. I would like to go on a date with Arlequino. Now, if you don't want your brother to die, you're gonna need to call up your mom or father and set us two together. I'm gonna be your dad. <laughs> you wanna see father? <laughs> yeah. But why should she bother giving you an audience? Well, if she cares for the well being of her dearest children, she should have plenty of motivation to join me for a parent's evening. He wants to date her. I've heard that the bonds between the members of the House of the Hearth are like the bonds of family. I don't see why she would refuse. Why did you think Father sent us to handle the Fortress of Meripede? Hmm. This place is basically a no-man's land. It wouldn't be fitting for anyone as important as a Harbinger like Father to come here in person. Oh, I see. So it's because she doesn't care for my place here. Hmm. That's such a shame. After all, I've amassed quite the tea collection. I was looking forward to sharing it with her. Both Monsieur Nervillette and Lady Farina have already received many samples as gifts. You're a psycho, but I love you. Was this the extent of your master plan to get to father? No matter how much pressure you may put on me, I won't allow you to use us to blackmail her. You people really are difficult to get along with. All <laughs> I'm asking for is a face-to-face -face conversation. Does she truly have no interest in the fortress's secret? Mr. Linney, you have one last chance to invite your father here. If you refuse... Dude, this, this is so good. The voice acting and, like, the conversation, the back and forth, is just delivered so well, dude. <sighs> Why do you have to do this? Instead of asking why I'm doing this, why don't you try to see things from my perspective for a second? From the very beginning, the Fatui has been actively infiltrating my fortress. I gave you a warning by cutting off the first few operatives I found, but that only caused you to double down. Had you given up on the fortress then and there, I'd have no reason to want to talk. Mm. Mr. Fremenet left the fortress on his own, and Miss Lynette tried to pry out my secrets right in front of me. No matter how you look at it, the responsibility for this falls on you. I... I shouldn't ask Father to do anything because of us. Six. Five. Not the countdown! Wait, I... Two. One. <laughs> 
Time's up. It really is a shame, Mr. Lenny. Risley! Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for my afternoon tea. Oh my god, he did the countdown. <laughs> Please wait, can we really not talk about this some more? Yeah, listen to the traveler. If you can't talk to Lenny, can you at least talk to us? I already counted down. You do realize that I'm only letting you go because of Nervalette, yes? You're here helping him out, and I've already done my best to stay out of your way. Oh, so Risley likes us. But that doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want. The fortress may be small and remote, but it still has its own set of laws. Please spare Fremenet and Lynette. I want to say Fremenet and Lynette, too. Hmm. Then how about this? Those who are capable deserve respect. You've spent quite some time investigating my home turf by now, so why don't you tell me a thing or two about what you found, hmm? Okay. I'll ask you three questions. Answer all of them correctly, and I'll agree to your request. Oh, God. <laughs> who said please fist me? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're wild for that, dude. That's so funny. Oh my god. Someone said that in chat. They said, please fist me. Oh my god. Oh, dude, that's so funny. Anyway, trivia time. Question one. Regarding the hidden rules of the production zone, what is the truth behind the one about not being allowed to work for three days in a row? I can't believe he's asking us about the hidden rules. If I recall correctly, if you keep working without any rest during lunch hour on the third day, you will find a portion of strange meat in your welfare meal. It's a good thing that we've already run into a thorough investigation on this. Let's see if I can remember all the clues. I should be able to find... No, no, no. I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour... The Fanta promoter has been struggling because he doesn't recognize the real value of coupons. Meanwhile, the Duke believes that only... We often see Miss Sijuin observing the prisoners at work near the production zone. It seems like she can perceive... Fanta's internal reports suggest that they're starting a new trial uh... of an unnamed and un... The research notes said that the Melusine race perceives the world very differently from humans. As a result... The Melusines have also developed a sense of aesthetics that appear... Hey? According to Collins, the Pancration Tournament only took place because the Fanta Company sponsored it. Okay. The company must want to return on their investment as well. Regarding the hidden rule of the production zone, what is the truth behind the one about not being allowed to work for three days in a row? Who will see... Who will see it if you keep working continuously? We often see Miss Sijuina... Sijuin? I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour. Maybe that one? The research notes said that the Melusine. Yo! I am smart! Big brain! First try, and it was actually a first try. didn't guess at all bro i guessed that entire thing honestly the hidden rule of the production zone i'm pretty smart yet. people are not supposed to work three days in not a row. the glasses and if they do they'll get strange meat in their welfare meal they'll get strange meat in their welfare meal if i do say so myself at first we thought this strange meat must have something to do with the people who disappeared i love the glass but in reality they were Prepared by Sijuin, the head nurse. Makes sense. She often visits the production zone to observe the workers' health and makes a note of anyone who has worn themselves out after three full days of work. Out of her sense of duty as the head nurse, as well as her genuine concern for the workers' health, Sijuin visits the cafeteria right before lunch and cooks an extra dish for those who can use the stamina boost. Yeah. Sijuin has only the best intentions with her surprise gift and doesn't want anyone to find out about what she does. However, unfortunately, Melusines as a race perceive the world differently from humans and their sense of aesthetics. 
Maddox's is even more alien to us. The recipients of her lovingly prepared special meals cannot taste the care within and usually just freak out. Are we on the right track? <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. You've uncovered Si Juin's secret and even guessed her intentions correctly as well. It's nice to know that her efforts have not gone unacknowledged. Yeah. I'm pretty cool. Alright, now for my next question. Oh, God. <laughs> there are also some hidden rules in the Pancration Ring, including the one that you're not allowed to support both sides of a fight. Why is that? Okay. The hidden rules of the Pancration Ring. If I remember correctly, if someone tries to support both boxers at the same time, they'll receive a package the next morning, which contains a strange blood-colored liquid. We've also done a lot of research on this matter. Let me sift through what I found and come up with the correct answer. All right. What happens if you violate the Pancreas Ring's hidden rule? The Fanta promoter has been struggling because... That one. Fanta's internal report suggests That one. According to Collins, the Pancration Tournament. That one. Huh? The research notes said that the Melazine race perceives the world vic According to Collins, the Pan I've been told that the infirmary is always empty. How is it not Fanta those two things? Has been struck Did I not pick those? I was right, but they were in the... I didn't know there was an order. There's an order? Oh, my God. Ah, I didn't know there's an order to it. Now. Okay. So there really Good was to know. nothing to be afraid of. That hidden rule of the pancreation ring is about how um, people are not supposed to bet Good on to both boxers at the same time. And if they do, they'll receive a package containing a strange blood-colored liquid. People get scared when they see it because they've subconsciously begun to associate it with the missing boxer. Yes. But really, it's just a bottle of the latest yet-to-be-named and packaged new Fanta trial product. A blood-red drink. It's no wonder even Fanta's own staff were questioning the company's decision. Oh, so that was the drink that they were, like, working on, but, like, people didn't like it because it looks so much like blood? Oh, that's funny. The company facing That just, like, now, like, hit staff, me in the head. ...decided to try to trial the product on a smaller scale to see how it might be received by customers. Yes. They came to the Fortress of Meropeed and offered to sponsor the Pancration Tournament so they could push their new product. But the Duke completely refused to even entertain That's the you. Idea. You're the Duke. The Duke, knowing how valuable coupons are in the fortress, knew that only total idiots who didn't understand their true value would bother buying a Fanta product here. And so, only those who proved their stupidity by being dumb enough to bet on two opposing sides of the same match were selected to receive the drinks. Fanta has a black soda? Ew. I acknowledge the effort you've put into bringing the truth of this mystery to light. Although, based on your description, that Fanta promoter is a bit too careless with his words. I may just reconsider my collaboration with the company. Hey, his words, not mine. All right, and here's the final question. What's the secret behind our head nurse and all of her patients in the infirmary? Oh my god, there's so many questions! We haven't collected enough info on that. Stop your cruel and pointless games, Risley. Thank God. You know that we haven't finished our investigation, so there's no way we can answer the last question. The thought of sparing Lynette and Fremenay never even crossed your mind. He's about to get decked. You'll pay for this? Lenny, <laughs> are you all right? Oh, <laughs> close one. I owe you, Siege Ween. That was a fantastic shot. Bro, he didn't even flinch. There was nothing, Your Grace. The evil devil. She's got a little gun. See, Dream? Though this gun may look like a toy, it's actually fully functional, as I just demonstrated. See, Dream? You... Psycho. <sighs> so you were his accomplice in all of this. Not at all. I am merely a resident of the fortress. Who gave a gun to a child, to dude? When Monsieur Nervulet asked me to come here, he told me that my job would be to take care of the well-being of everyone here. 
I am merely discharging my duties. I thought you were adorable, but you're just a rat. But if you're you a rat. What you just said, then isn't Linny someone you should be looking after as well? Isn't he a resident here just like the rest of us? If you're close with Nouvellet. But I really am just doing what Monsieur Nervulet told me to do. Everything I did, I've done to protect them. Had I not, they would be in far more dire straits right now. Mmm. True. His Grace knows it too, right? Your Grace? Mind proving my innocence to them? He's like, yeah, you're right. I would have killed him on the spot right here. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> my dear Sejuine, whatever shall I do with you? Would it have killed you to just wait another minute or two? Well, it's nearly time after all. <sighs> the way you do things can be truly frustrating sometimes, Your Grace. I figured I should try to talk some sense into you. She's just a Libra? Hey, don't insult Libras like that, okay? I'm not a rat, all right? What are you talking about? What time? Take me if you want, but let them go. Mm hmm how touching. Can you just give me one more minute? He literally does not care. He's like, mm hmm yeah, very touching. Anyway, <laughs> I love his attitude so much. Don't be like that, Your Grace. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. All right, everyone, calm down. Two more visitors will be arriving any time now. I'll go get a cup of tea. Miss Sejuine. I leave Miss Lynette in your care. You. What are He's you just playing doing? games now. I believe I hear footsteps. The door suddenly slams open. A familiar figure bursts into the room. Some space, please. Uh, <clears throat> Hold on. I gotta look good. Hey, Clorand. How are you today? Ah, Miss Clorand. My door. Hi. <clears throat> hey there. How you doing today, Clorand? Is that Fremine on the look at the bottom right corner? That's just Fremine. Oh my god. Fremine. Fremine. Doing here? Why wasn't she here sooner is the question. Work. I love the one word answer, work. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about shooting you, Mr. Linny. The tranquilizing effect will begin to wear off soon. Please take it easy in the meantime, though. Bro, you tranquilized him and he just like didn't even get knocked out. How strong is Linny if he can do that? What happened to Fremenay? Wasn't he diving just outside of the fortress? Why is he looking like, like this? He's dead. A flushed face, an accelerated pulse. He must have consumed primordial seawater. Oh my God. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, please make some space. I'll need to give Mr. Fremini a more thorough checkup. Your Grace, I'll leave the rest to you. I'll talk to Clorand while you get Fremenet to where he needs to be. Everything else can wait. God, she is hot. I'm sorry. And he's hot too. Ugh, God, Lord. Anyway. He's hot too. Try to understand the situation of the people around. Okay. Um, Lenny first. You good, Fremenet? Lenny's expression looks disgusted. It seems like he's rather not have seen, uh, Sidwin touch Fremenet. Still, he didn't stop her, since it's obvious that Fremenet does require urgent medical care. Sejuine examining Fremenet carefully. She doesn't look too upset, which is a good sign. I hope Fremenet will be okay. How is he? These symptoms are probably caused by an acute ingestion of a large amount of primordial seawater. Still, his condition is not critical. She reminds me of, um, Bailu. She reminds me of Bailu from, um, uh, Star Rail, dude. Oh my God. Of course, it would be best if he stayed for further observation. Wow. Let's leave him here for now and move him to the infirmary once he's recovered a bit more. Uh, sorry, I am aware that the infirmary may not be your favorite place in the world at the moment, 
We do only have a single clinic in the fortress, however. Mm. Why would he ingest a large amount of primordial seawater after leaving the fortress? Maybe he was thirsty. How could that possibly happen? Please, look after Mr. Fremenet for the moment. I'll go fetch some medicine and a respirator. Oh, I'll bring Miss Lynette back with me. Where is she? How is she right now? Let her do her job. Oh, she just took a nap in an empty room after I tranquilized her. <laughs> if my calculations are correct, she should also be waking up right around now. Oh my god. You might not believe me, but His Grace and I actually made some snacks and tea for her. Ah, uh, don't worry. She's just sleeping in an empty room. After I tranquilized her. Lenny has finally begun to stop tensing the muscles in his face. Seems that he trusts what Sejuin has just said. All right. Let's go see what's happening over here. What's that look on your face? I thought I made good time on the way back. Oh, I'm just admiring your punctuality. Had you arrived just a few minutes later, Sejuin may have been forced to shoot Mr. Linny again. How's the situation out there? I'm looking at her too. The water has changed. It's pretty much as expected. The concentration of primordial seawater has increased significantly. Chat, I said this on Twitter and I will say this again. When she comes out, I will main her. She, I, and I know I say that sometimes, but no. With her, she's special. She is special. I will main her. That's it. That's final. I, I'm just, she's going to be my main character that I play forever for the rest of Genshin Impact history. I am deeply in love with her. I was only out there a short time, so it wasn't too bad. But if one were to stay for any significant amount of time, well, you can see I how that her. boy is doing. Where was he when you found him? That button is working overtime right now. The abandoned zone at the end of the pipes. A good distance into the water. Closer than I thought. He must have recognized it early on and tried desperately to swim back. Locking the door was necessary. I don't think we could have saved two. Well, I did try to convince him that I had my reasons. Hmm. Never seems to work, though. It would probably work on Nouvellet. He has a knack for picking out who had good intentions, even when the outcomes were all terrible. They all are, yeah. You look got dumped? I'm sorry. Uh, it's a bad sign if you're having to plead your case to Nouvellet. Want some tea? Mm, not particularly. If you want to drink some that badly, just say so. <laughs> I mean, I'll take you out for some tea if you want, you know? What's the best thing about her? I love her outfit. It reminds me of, like, a Bloodborne hunter. I love her attitude, though, how she's just so, like, she don't care. She's just doing her thing. She's a badass. I love her. Fine. I'd like to get some tea. Want me to get you a cup, too, since I've already made it? Uh, might as well, then, I suppose. Actually, do you have a towel? I would like to dry my hair. Oh, I love her. Linny, are you okay? <sighs> I'll be fine. They're all here now. Don't worry about me. Okay. Are you sure? You don't look all right. My hands and feet are still a bit weak, but that's probably just the residual effects of the tranquilizer shot. I'm back, everyone. And Lynette is alive. Lenny. Oh, Traveler, Paimon, you're here too. Mm-hmm. Fremenet? Is he... Dead? Almost. He'll be fine. But for now, please help me lift him up. Hmm. Ugh. You good? Oh, he's out again. Okay. His breathing's beginning to slow down. This is not good. I feel Give so bad for him. And help me get him to the infirmary. Yeah, I'll take him from this side. Lynette? Together? On it. Traveler, you seem pretty worried about him. Want to come with us? Very well. The Duke and Clarinda are gone. Yeah, I don't know. They they went off they to go get some tea. They probably went to get some tea. Tea. The Duke will explain the truth in just a bit. Miss Clarinda will need a break, since she only just returned from rescuing Fremenet out of the sea. Tea. Clorin saved Fremenet from the sea. Just what happened there? All right. Go back to the infirmary. Let's go do it. All right. 
I finally made it, completely without chat's help at all. That was all me and my doing. Look, it's not my <laughs> fault that the the teleport waypoints are in the weird weirdest spots, dude. He's awake. Fremine, how do you feel? <sighs> Lenny. Lynette. We're all here. Uh, where am I? The infirmary at the Fortress of Meripede, Mr. Fremine. Hmm. And you are no longer in any danger. Don't trust her. She's a sociopath. How do you feel? Don't push yourself if you're not feeling up to it. I don't trust her at all. Uh, traveler. Paimon. It's been so long. Uh, the sea. There's something wrong with the seawater. I know. You drank like a million gallons of it. Shh, it's okay. We can talk about it after you've recovered. No. Listen to me. This is really serious. There's primordial seawater mixed into the regular seawater. I don't know why it's huh? there, but no one should touch it. What happened after you snuck into the pipes? Pipes. Uh, right. The pipes. It's all coming back to me now. I'm in. Hmm. Oh, do we have the players from it now? Seems like this pipe hasn't been used in a long time. It looks abandoned. Ooh, okay. <sighs> Where could Master Child be? Ooh, we get the players uh, from it now. That's cool. Yo, this place is cool. Okay. Huh. This mechanism looks like it's been tampered with. Do not look at the build. Well, now I have to look at the build, chat. It's not that bad. Hoyoverse doesn't know how to build their own characters, obviously. We all know this. Master Child probably dived into the water. I'll go take a look as well. Sick. Oh, this is awesome, dude. a bit more sparse. These traces aren't natural. A person must have left them. And recently, I should be going... Oh. There are traces here too. Okay. We need to keep going. Huh? The traces are gone. But I don't see where he could have gone from here. Ah, wait. What the? Oh my god. My heart is racing. And it's getting harder and harder to breathe. What's going on? No good. I have to get back. They uh -oh. still don't know anything about what's going on. Dude, just breathe. Come on. Right now. I should still be able to make it. How does Chlorin find him down there? Okay, we gotta go. Before you die. Yeah, dude, just breathe underwater. Like, not hard. I can't die here. Oh god, I hate I hate this. I hate the sound of drowning. Drowning is a fear of mine. This, uh, oh this god, I hate this. I'm feeling worse and worse, and I'm still underwater. Uh, I Ugh. have to push on. Ugh. Why is she there all of a sudden? Have you ever dreamed of drowning? Uh, I've never dreamt of it. I've had dreams of like when I fall and then I like I hit the ground and I wake so up. I've had that words, before. 
The trail you were following vanished, and you had no idea where Master Child could have gone. But there was also no obvious Wet place where you oh disappeared God. to. I was thinking that. I was going to say it, but I didn't say it. Mm -hmm. That's right. I tried my best to swim back, but I had already put some distance between myself and the fortress. Mm. And I just couldn't find the strength to keep going. I probably passed out some time after that. And you know the rest. Miss Clarand brought you back. But we also don't know why she just suddenly appeared at the fortress. That's my question too, yeah. she went out to save you? Miss Clorand, you say? I must go thank her in person. You're still too weak, Fremenet. You can go after you've had some more rest. She's such a good sister. Miss Lynette is right. I believe Miss Clorand will stay here as a guest for another few days. So there's no need to hurry. A guest? Then I can assume Risley was the one who invited her to come down here? You should ask. His grace about that. <laughs> Not You're able me. to explain better than me. Got it. I'll go talk yeah. to him. It's about time he actually told us what's going on. Want to come with us, Liddy? Uh, no, please go on without me. I don't want to leave just yet. Take care of Fremen. Rinny, the logical part of my brain is aware that we're safe right now, but I still can't bring myself to leave. Both of you are just in danger. Mm. He's a good brother. Understood. Then, in that case, I'll leave the infirmary to you. The traveler and I are going to head out for now. As long as you stay in here, I don't think you'll be disturbed. Thank that. you. Cool. Nice. I take it Mr. Fremenet's condition has stabilized? Yeah, he's not dead at least. Of course. So. I wouldn't have left the infirmary otherwise. I've been expecting those two, but might I inquire as to the purpose of your visit, Miss Sejuin? Because she just wants to be here. That's why. To check up on Miss Cloran. How are you feeling? Mostly fine, I think. I love her so much. I love her so much. I, I just can't wait for her to come out. If you don't mind, I'd like to perform another quick physical exam. It'll just take a few minutes. Sijuin, let me take care of it for you. I can do the physical exam uh, portion of this examination for you, okay? No need to worry. I got it. All right. Thank you for looking out for me. I'll take my leave for now, then. Does it hurt when I do this? <laughs> I'm sorry. Chad, I'm tired. I'm tired. It was a joke. I'm sorry. Well, want to explain yourself, Risley? <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course. But I'm not partial to the word choice of explain. Please enlighten us as much as you'd enlighten. like. Enlighten. But where should I begin? How about you start by asking me any questions you have? You can okay. start with whichever one you'd like to get answered the most. Hmm. Then Paimon will begin. I got one. Did you know about Lenny's goals from the very beginning? No, don't answer that question. My question is, is Clorenz single? Hmm, no. Dang I it. just knew they were Fatui operatives sent to the fortress by the Knave. As for their specific goals, I only figured those out as you made progress on your investigation. Hmm. You managed to monitor and stay ahead of them even though you didn't know like what Batman, they were trying dude. to do? <laughs> Is she single? Mm, no. <laughs> Dang it. They came here with ulterior motives. I'm quite adept at discerning what that kind of behavior signals. Why didn't you stop them? Initially, I thought their goal was just to investigate Child's disappearance. Linny suggested that I had deliberately let him escape. But in truth, I didn't really do anything special to help or hinder him while he was here. Everything he did, from finding helpers to leaving this place, he did on his own. Mm. Of course, it's clip it for the short. Would make a big deal out of I a fellow it. harbinger's unexplained disappearance. I'm also quite curious about where that harbinger went, so I figured I might as well let the Fatui do their own investigative work. Mm. All I care about is the answer. So you let them do all the hard work, and then you just kind of swoop in in third party. I get it. So you were hoping Linny's group would just do your work. <laughs> you? Dude, he's a master third partier. You I make it. it sound like that's a bad thing. Unfortunately, He's working things smart, didn't go not as hard. planned. I assume that Fremenet has told you already the ratio of primordial seawater around the fortress of Meripede is on the rise. Love it. The Forbidden Zone has always been Linny's target, and you got roped into that investigation after running into him. Mm. I began to intervene out of concern for your safety, and also to prevent the fortress from becoming entangled in more irksome matters. Are the rumors true that you're also a former criminal? Um, while we're on the subject, what did you go to prison for, Risley? Why would you put it like that? 
Isn't staying here all day and serving as the manager of the fortress a kind of sentence unto itself? Another form of prison? I just happen to have some support from the rest of the inmates. That's all. Oh, is that all that was? Hmm? Oh, right. Paima wanted to ask, who invited Clarence down here? I did. Me, of course. I paid her good mora to come down to the fortress for some field work. Field work? What does that mean, huh? Field work, huh? <laughs> okay. As a champion duelist, Miss Cloran could be considered to be an independent party. I needed to find an exceptionally capable person to help me get through the appending crisis. Mm. And saving Fremenet was part of that crisis? You can think of it like that, yes. Credit where credit is due, that boy is quite adept at diving. Yeah. Had conditions not been as hostile as they were, he probably would have found the missing Harbinger already. So the Forbidden Zone really exists? That's not something you should be asking after. Nevelet only asked you to investigate Child's whereabouts. You have a point there, yeah. All I need to prove to you is that the Forbidden Zone had nothing to do with the Harbinger's disappearance. That should be clear now that you've spoken to Fremene. Okay. But we've already uncovered What is in the Forbidden Area the that Fremenet? they don't want us to know I've about? answered a bunch of questions that you threw at us. Question in return? Yeah. You make a compelling case. Do you really want to know the answer that badly? <laughs> he was a criminal, but man, could he dive. Yeah, Paimon really wants to know. Even if the truth may not be pleasant? Uh, yeah? Follow me. I don't know. I don't, do I? Oh, God, okay. Follow Risley. All right. You will know later. Okay. Just M will be here, okay? A secret passageway? There's a hidden door here? And a whole basement behind it? Huh. You're pretty good at hiding stuff, Risley. It seems you've forgotten just what kind of place the Fortress of Meripede is. I didn't... She's kind of dumb, though. Alright, let's go down to the secret dungeon that he has. Is it that kind of dungeon, though? Stand on the central plate. Yes. Sir. Wait, is there a secret mechanism or whoa? What kind of dungeon? I don't know. Once everyone has taken their positions on the circular plate, it begins to slow movely, slowly move towards the bottom. So this is the forbidden zone? Honestly, for a place so well hidden, Paimon sure doesn't see anything special. And that is what a huge door. A door? What's behind the door? There are three such isolation gates in total. Okay. Generally speaking, I'm the only one who's allowed to go inside. Hence the name Forbidden Zone. Am I correct to assume you're going to run on back and tell your little Fatui friends everything? <laughs> Dude, what? No. No. What would give you... Dude, what would give you that, uh, that, 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 you know... That idea. Of course not. Be Between you and me, I never liked them. Well, I. Or that one. Paimon wasn't thinking of keeping There's anything no way. from them. We would never do that. <laughs> well, I'd advise you wait until you've seen the whole truth of this place for yourself before deciding whether or not to tell them. Okay. What are we gonna. S I'm. Oh, God, the music. <laughs> The music is so creepy, chat. Huh. So there's a switch on the side. Stand back. Okay. Dude, there's like Whoa. three or four doors. They all just went up one by one. That's how doors work, Paimon. Yeah. What's in the middle of the room? Go on. Have a look. He's gonna... What if he tries to lock us in there? I don't, I don't trust him, dude. This room is really empty with nothing in here, which is quite strange on its own, but there's also a device smack dab in the middle of the room, which looks like some kind of massive sluice gate. I've been interested in what lies beyond that gate ever since I assumed leadership of the Fortress of Meripede. Okay. Of course, it would be unwise to recklessly open it, but it'd also be risky and negligent to simply ignore any potential danger that could be behind it. True. The readings on that dashboard have not budged since the day when I first laid eyes on this place. But over the past year, 
the needle has crept upwards from its original position, likely because some parameter it's been tracking has changed, if only infinitesimally. Huh? Normally, I would have ignored it, but I happen to have some free time when I noticed it, so I investigated. Any guesses what the reading could be tracking? The water pre It's not good. Very reasonable guesses. I've considered both of those as well. Unfortunately, our dashboard is tracking something less ordinary. Okay. The temperature should vary with weather and climate changes. So for something that rarely shifts, the water pressure is more likely. Right. We ran a few tests to increase the pressure from the outside, but the readings didn't change at all. Later on, a few more possibilities occurred to me, such as a potential connection with the primordial sea. Okay. I began to make a few preparations based on that hypothesis. Over the past few days, the needle has moved again. With that and the symptoms that Fremenet displayed after leaving the fortress, I can now confidently conclude that the readings represent the concentration of primordial seawater in the seawater nearby. The concentration of primordial seawater? But we're already under the sea! Under the sea. And Sorry. that is precisely the problem. We're at the bottom of the sea, and now we're surrounded by toxic seawater. Mm -hmm. Somehow, primordial seawater got mixed in, and the concentration is steadily rising. So primordial seawater is continually leaking into the sea. Yes. That's very likely. But forget about the two of us. That's not, not good. Not even Novelet knows where the primordial sea could be, much less where we could find and plug a leak. Her, her under, her reason, like, oh my god, wait. Seems like you figured it out. She finally figured it I out. I believe the primordial sea lies directly beneath this sluice gate. Probably. For some reason, the primordial seawater levels have risen significantly, and it's now very close to us. Great. The indicators are now red. Although the gate still stands, some primordial seawater has already leaked out and mixed into the and sea. And from my understanding, us. red's not good. For the most part. If this continues, soon it will no longer be able to hold back the primordial sea. Out. Red, bad. And if the primordial sea is leaking through, if this gate falls, all of Fontaine will fall with it. Yeah, you know what the legends say. If this place falls, then everyone in Fontaine will be turned into puddles in the span of a night. Okay. Too weird. Why would the fortress of Meripede be built right above a sluice gate for the primordial sea? Your expression tells me you think this might be part of a vast, complicated conspiracy. To be honest, you might find the actual answer may be exceedingly boring. What is it? It's just that the secret of the Forbidden Zone had been long forgotten by the nation before I rediscovered it with my research. There's no single founder of the Fortress of Meripede in any traditional sense. What we know about its history has been left to us by the people who used to live here. Okay. When the previous Hydro Archon, Egeria, ruled the land, all convicted criminals from Fontaine were exiled. Mm -hmm. The people drove the criminals away like a wolf pack chasing away the banished. The criminals received no sympathy of any kind from the people. They were exiled to the desolate seaside, where they experienced only pain, struggle, and the bone-chilling cold. Egeria. Some of them began to... What a lore, dude! ...and prayed to the Hydro Archon, asking if there was still anything they could do. The Hydro Archon took pity on them and said, You may go guard my secret deep underneath the waves. And so, leaning on the power of the Hydro Archon, they gathered underneath the sea and began to build a fortress. They became a community down there in the deeps, and over the years helped it to grow. As the number of exiles increased, more and more people joined the community. When the first group of exiles died, they uh -huh. left the yet unfinished fortress to their successors. The Hydro Archon continued to lend her support, allowing the fortress and what it stood for to continue growing ever larger. Before long, this dark underwater fortress became the sinner's only home. And with that, the people here stopped referring to the fortress as a prison. Mm. They saw themselves as repenting sinners who would regain their freedom once they had sufficiently redeemed themselves. Bro. So basically, it's the previous Hydro Archon's bathwater? <laughs> In layman's terms, yes. But as time went on, people also realized that the fortress was a lonely place. Once yeah. they had gotten used to life here, they could no longer feel comfortable living in the overworld. 
Once they had finished serving their sentences, some people left and some others chose to stay. Mm -hmm. They'd find some idle position and let their withered souls fade away with the ancient secrets of the past. After many, many centuries, few people still remember the reason for the fortress's founding. Mm -hmm. Now they just see it as an integral pillar of Fontanian society, as the place where criminals deserve to be sent. Now and again, researchers manage to break one law or another and live out their days in the fortress. I learned all this from an elderly historian. Everyone else just thought he'd made it all up. I mean, it all sounds kind of made up, but... But now you know every part of that history is true. Indeed. That's just as the prophecy says. Do you believe in the prophecies? If this gate fails, then everyone will be dissolved into the sea. To be frank, not really. But sadly, that well, hasn't stopped this prophecy from proving all too accurate. Prophecies are troublesome things. Just hearing one will create the first wave of panic. Seeing signs of it will bring about the second, and actually witnessing it in real time... I the feel like the people of Fontaine are really just kind of like trying to push this prophecy, like, eh, it's it's fine. Guys, it's fine. Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. And then it's just gonna, like, explode. Let's go somewhere else. I want to show you something. Okay. But it's not fine. Yeah, exactly. It ain't fine. This is it. Hey, it's those two. Your Grace, perfect timing. The results from our last round of experiments have... Wait, Jurier, he's not alone. Huh? Lorvine and Jurier? No need to panic, you two. I've already told them about our plan. What? After you warned us not to tell a single soul about any he's of He's trying this? to gaslight themselves into thinking it's fine. Exactly, yeah. Fontaine, or mas uh, Fontaine people are master gaslighters. I'm skeptical as well. Are you sure they are trustworthy? The results speak for themselves, don't they? These two may already know more than you could ever imagine. They probably know more than you two. All right then, if your grace insists. They seem harmless enough, so I'll trust them for now. Well, how about some reintroductions? This is Jurier, one of the highest ranked researchers from the Fontaine Research Institute. He used to work under Edwin. I trust that you've heard of Edwin? We have. Oh, good. Saves me a bit of time explaining. Edwin's main areas of research were archaeum and gravimeters. As his assistant, Hello there. Welcome is in. quite familiar with them as well. I hired him to be my technical consultant. Okay. You... you want to blow up the fortress of Meripede? Uh-huh. With everyone inside. Ah, what a lovely idea. I'm already imagining it in my head. <laughs> what? Gotta admit, I'm tempted as well. Let's just blow this sucker. Guys, focus! Focus! <laughs> That taskmaster over there is Miss Lorvine, and is also one of my technical consultants. While Jurier used to be Edwin's assistant, she used to be Jurier's assistant. Ooh, are they together? We were all thinking it, chat. See, everyone keeps asking this question. Are you too sure you're not a couple and just using your work as a convenient cover? <gasps> Dude, that is so funny. That is so funny that everyone thought that earlier, and like even in game, they're like, "Are you sure you guys aren't a couple?" I, Your Grace, I am not in a relationship with this man. If I dated her, I'd officially be madder than Edwin. Yeah. If I was to date this girl, I. I don't think she wants to date you, bro. Jeez, I forget I said anything then. Yeah, I wouldn't touch her with a seven-foot pole. Follow me. Whoa! Thank you. There's another like that. door that goes right up. Yeah, they're kissing off screen. Trust me. Yeah, exactly. Your constant amazement makes it seem like the fortress can do anything. Can it not? Paimon gets easily surprised. Like Is this just a normal room? I mean, I doubt that, but... Well, let's spice it up a bit. Handcuffs? And here you go. <gasps> Whoa. Hey. Oh my god. What a huge... ship? They're rebuilding the Titanic! This is also a production zone that Paimon's never seen before. What's going on? How much do you know about Fontanian history? Not much. Well, then maybe you haven't heard the story of ancient Lemuria. Nope. To give you a quick rundown, Fontaine used to be ruled by the Lemurian dynasty. According to legend, 
the Lemurian king Remus came to this land Whoa. after being inspired by divine revelation. Noah's Ark. And found the seer of Vila, who was sequel. taken on the form of a golden bee. Taking the golden bee with him and riding on a huge ship. I love the music. He created his nation above the surging waves. He called his nation Lemuria and used the Fortuna to incessantly oh, search for new tribes and islands, calling on them to join his empire. There's a ship in mm. the story too? Where there's water, there'll be ships. People believe that hope can always be found at the end of a voyage. Yeah. Do you believe that too? To a point, I think. As you've already seen, I have a whole factory's worth of labor, materials, and technology at my disposal. Certainly can't hurt to give it a try. So the moment I began to speculate that the primordial sea might lie underneath the gate, I also began this project. Whoa. Were you inspired by the legendary Fortuna? Mm, maybe. Fontanians need something what? to hold Nicholas on Walkman. to cope with the impending disaster. So this is a plan for the ages. Can't you share your plan with everyone? Were the workers to find out the truth behind this ship, riots would destroy the fortress faster than any catastrophe. As the fortress's administrator, I'd never make such a reckless call. Mm. All right, that's enough talking for now. I'll need another three cups of tea to soothe my throat. Do you have any other questions? Seems like you're good. Come on, I'll take you back. Man. We just got a huge lore dump, chat. That was a lot of lore. I'll leave you here for now. Okay. Oh, uh, thank you so much. No worries. But don't forget, it's up to you whether or not you want to share what you just saw. What you do from here on out will likely affect those three as well. Okay. He means that my actions now will decide the next steps Lenny's group takes. In other words, if I want to tell Lenny the truth, I must make him understand that we cannot afford excessive conflict right now. Yeah, we'll put a lot of thought into it for sure. Yeah, we will. Great. I look forward to what happens next. It's like, Lenny, we got bigger <laughs> issues at hand right now. Okay, what do you think of uh, Rizzy's personality? I like him. I like his personality a lot. Welcome back. Do you want a cup of tea? Why does everyone want tea? How can you be so much like Risley, always drinking tea? I think I just have the same brain wavelength as Paimon at this point. Huh. Actually, now that you mention it, I just remembered something now. Tea is the best thing. While I was sedated, I could still barely hear two people talking next to me. They were discussing everything, from the leaves, to the water, and even the teacups themselves. Must have been Risley and Sishween. Yeah, mm. I heard one male voice and one female, so it should have been, been the two of them. They True. really were just talking about brewing tea. Maybe it was code. I really can't make sense of this place. Me either. So, Traveler, Paimon, were you able to learn anything from Risley? So, how do I tell you this? Yeah, he explained everything. Very well. Then, would you mind checking your answers against my speculations? Well, it sounds a lot more like this old self. Yeah, I took the time to rest. That's so good. So, I'm feeling a lot more relaxed now. Nobody else is around, and Miss Sijuin is also busy with something or other. So, let's just talk here. All right. Then, I'll posit my theories. I asked myself three questions. Okay. Firstly... Why was Fremene affected by the primordial seawater? It was because he dove into the sea. My theory is, the long-lost primordial sea is probably very close to the fortress of Meripede. No way! He was affected by it be because he dove into it. I don't know. How did, how did I not even think about that, bro? Ooh, he's good. Wow. He got that right on the first try. <laughs> I know. Isn't that crazy? That's our Lenny. Oh, my God. Wow. Secondly, Risley's attitude changed dramatically during the course of our stay here. He ignored us completely at first, then suddenly roadblocked us. Why? He did? His mood changed? Wow. I, I didn't I didn't notice that either. I spent quite a long time thinking about this. 
Detective. If he has been over. monitoring the Fatui since the very beginning, he probably ignored us at first because he was hoping we could find Master Child for him. <laughs> no way! You're telling me that he wanted you guys to do all the work for him? Never knew that. Wait, you guys weren't in the room when he explained that, right? No, they were Okay, that makes sense. That makes so much more sense, chat. I forgot they were not in the room when he explained that shit. That's why he's like, ex obviously explain the most, the things that we already know. God, okay. I thought they were there and I was like, Linny, we know all of this. Yes. What's more? The Fortress of Meripede is not part of Fontaine's court system, nor does it report to Udex Nervulet. Risley is basically the king of a no-man's land. Now that is public information, Lenny. Literally everybody knows that. As long as the Fortress doesn't do anything about Master Child's disappearance, Father can use it to pressure the Fontaine authorities. And while the two factions are pitted against each other, Risley will be free to move between the parties of interest. Wow, Lenny. Stick to being a magician. If I had to guess, he probably has something that he's working on himself. It's likely related to the secret of the infirmary, but I just can't think of what it could be. Lenny's grasp on the big picture is amazing. You're super smart. Uh, probably after this quest, you'll be craving tea. I have tea. I'm probably going to drink some tea after this, yeah. You're... <laughs> Paimon. Oh, my God, Linny, you're so smart. Oh, my God, Traveler, he's kind of stiffed. <laughs> Thanks so much. I did it all and by myself. Finally, there's the last question. If Risley does have a plan, what could it be? All I know for now is that his plan probably has oh, something no. to do with the changing nature of the seawater. He's even gotten Cloran to help him out. Oh, man. Do you have any idea? Uh, that can't be the full extent of what he's doing. There's probably a secret passageway behind the block in the infirmary, and there's something big in the fortress that most people here never get to see. You're not wrong. He has a bargaining chip, and it could be important enough for Father to deal with him directly. What if I told you? <laughs> what if I told you? I don't you? have enough information, so I have no idea what his chip might be. But... Let me guess. You have the last piece of the puzzle. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not telling. Oh, we share everything with Lenny. <sighs> I can't believe it. Great. Must see, will engulf everyone. Just like the prophecy said. Yeah, we're all goners here. Could Risley have wanted to meet Father to figure out a way to deal with this crisis? Probably. If you remember, I once mentioned that Father sees the House of the Hearth as her base of operations, and she truly wants to resolve the crisis. But how could Risley have known that? Or perhaps he didn't know, and just wanted to bring Father over to his side? Which could be why he said he just wanted to negotiate. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I understand your concerns as well, Traveler. I'll figure out a way to pass this on to our father. No matter what, we're on your side. The two of you have already aided us far too much. We probably we wouldn't be standing here right now if not for you. True. If you ever need anything else going forward, please come to the House of the Hearth at any time. Though you may not share the sentiment, after all that we've gone through together, the three of us basically see you as family now. Not likewise, but okay. You have my gratitude. Thank you for protecting Linny when it really mattered. And thank you for sharing the secrets of the fortress Lynette, with us. Lynette, you are my favorite. We didn't think you were going to do it. Uh, why are you being so formal all of a sudden? Don't mention it. Bro, did you just shit yourself? What was that? Uh, Paimon... Paimon's hungry. Oh, uh... You've done so much already. Go get some food. Alright, then we'll catch you guys another time. Bye. All right. Go to the cafeteria. Let's go to the cafeteria because Paimon is hungry as she always is. I will say Act 4 is a lot better than Act 3 already because of the lore. A lot of good stuff.
Is there an Act 5? No, on, it's just 3 and 4 right now. Ah, you little rat. Are you here for dinner too, Miss Hijuin? Mm -hmm. Rats gotta and eat I'm too. And I'm taking the opportunity to prepare Miss Cloran's dinner as well. Ooh, ooh, she deserves only the five-star meals, okay? And if I, if she get, if she doesn't get a five-star meal, but I do, I will switch with her. Whatever makes her like me, honestly. Huh, you're right. She's actually sitting in the fortress cafeteria. What would you like to eat? Clorin. <clears throat> I mean, uh, uh, what can we choose? Yep, you can. I've already talked to our chef, Mr. Wolsey. It's all on me today, so you can get whatever you'd like. Sure, then I'll have the tastiest stuff you have to offer. Me too, go for no problem. Just leave it to me. <laughs> Let's do it. You're unhinged. Bro, I've been streaming for almost seven hours. I am unhinged right now, yes. I'm tired, and I have more work to do afterwards. Delicious. Amazing. Paimon's so happy. Paimon wants to feast like this every day. <laughs> you could, but you'll gain 70 pounds like I did during COVID, and you don't want that. Honestly. Feeling full yet? How's the food? Delicious. Good, because it's poisoned. Uh, I'm so glad to see you all so happy. I don't trust oh, you. See the expression on your face just now, but the muscle here just moved, which suggests that you're feeling quite relaxed at the moment. Sijuin, do you do this to help your patients or to better understand human beings? Probably both. A bit of both, I suppose. I'm a melazine, which means I'm very different from human beings. I must know what you're thinking if I want to take good care of you. You're really good at taking care of people. Even though you're so short, you still talk and act like an older sister. Why are you gonna say that? Even though you're a very short person, well, at least you're useful. Really? You're reminded of an older sister? Dude, Paimon, don't... <laughs> That's great to hear. Paimon, you're the shortest person here. Oh, and what did you mean back in Risley's office? When you said that you were protecting Linny and his siblings as well. Yeah, taking care of people as she takes her gun out, yeah. Oh, that. I just asked his grace to look out for those children, especially that diver boy. I was getting a bit worried after hearing that something was wrong with the water. Thankfully, Clorand is very strong and managed to save him in the nick of time. His grace also sealed the pipes after Clorand left, to make sure that Linny wouldn't impulsively chase after his brother. Although the path was blocked, we still stationed some guards there to stop anyone from approaching. Okay. They were instructed to only open the door once Miss Clorand had returned. Oh, and I was keeping an eye on Mr. Linny as well. We had to press him, but we couldn't allow him to be in any real danger. So maybe she is a good guy. You were all super considerate and really thought everything through. <laughs> it's just what we do down here at the fortress. I can't trust at least her. This has been his grace's style for as long as he's been the leader. Oh, I really wish Monsieur Nervula would come down here more often too. I feel like he'd like it here, <laughs> with all the darkness and chaos. He would not like it here. But that doesn't make sense at all. It's hard to imagine Nuvalet outside of his office. Get a good night's rest, you two. You both worked very hard. I am a good guy. I just used a horse tranquilizer on you. What's up, baby? Do you hear the clip clop? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen to this shit. What's up, baby? Ah, uh, it's you two. Oh, sure. What's up, Cloran? How's dinner? It's all right. Miss Sijuin really put in a lot of effort. So we heard that Risley invited I love you. you to come <clears> to <throat> I mean, sorry. Help, and you saved Fremenet, too. You sure work super fast. Oh, it was child's play. Still, Paima didn't know even Champion Duelist could take on side jobs. I mean, she's a working girl. Oh, and why aren't you eating with Sijuin and the Duke? Won't you get bored eating by yourself? Miss Sijuin was with you. And the Duke has business of his own. Hmm. God, she is gorgeous. Actually, didn't Nadia Rah. say that you went out for dinner with Rah. her as well? Yeah, I'm barking, chat. What yeah. about it? First time in a long time. 
How does her hat stay on? Uh, rubber bands, maybe? First time in a long time. So you mean you've gone out to dinner with her in the past? In the past. In the past, yes. yes. <clears throat> you seem to be enjoying yourselves here. It's all thanks to Nouvellet. Things will be getting messy at the fortress soon. Don't run around unnecessarily. What's Traveler looking at? She's like... Auga. Sorry. All right, return to the dormitories for rest. Oh, so much has happened. Harmon just feels absolutely exhausted now that she's finally relaxed. I too feel exhausted as well, Paimon. Me too. Oh, I'm on super sleepy. Are you sleepy too? Yes. I'm also getting there. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen Paimon lay down. I don't think I've ever seen her lay down before. Look how <laughs> look how small she is. Hold on, I gotta mark this. Look how small she is in comparison to that entire bed. That is so funny. Wow, she really immediately fell asleep. Mm, delicious. I'm on one seconds for free. Oh. Out of my way! Get out of my way! What happened? Why is everyone running? Uh oh. No idea. Something must have happened. Stop asking. Did the thing blow up? Uh -huh. Who's yelling? Paimon still wants to sleep. I I can hear like the water and stuff. Paimon, wake up. We need to go out and see what's going on. Like right now. What's happening? What happened? Why is everyone running around? Uh, hey, what are you doing? Can you tell us? There's no time to explain, mate. Goodbye. Honestly, base, I would have done the same thing. Hey. Can someone tell what's us what's going on? People, they won't even talk to us. They're here. Yeah, there you are. Hey, crusty, or custard, whatever your name was, Custoy. Oh, thank goodness. What's going on, dude? Cristo and Lavaroon, do you know what happened here? We came here especially to inform you. Oh, thank you. Something seems to have gone terribly wrong just now. His Grace <laughs> is telling everyone to evacuate and get out of here. Lavarun was saying you two are new here and you don't have many friends, so you might slip through the cracks. Haven't you heard there are all the friends. stories like that? An evacuation is successfully completed. Yet you only find out once you do a head count that one or two people are missing. I got it. We gotta go then. Wait, weren't you the one who brought that up? Why is it suddenly my idea? How about we stop bickering right now and we fucking scoodoodle out of here? Hey, all right, let's go. Shut up. Okay, whatever. The point is, you should come with us. I agree. Let's get out of here. Yeah, he said to get as far away as possible. Upwards and outwards. Upwards and outwards. I'm right with you, buddy. Let's go. Boom. Hold on. Then that means whatever happened must have happened down below. Hmm. No. Isn't that gay at the very bottom? Now is not the time to think. Uh, it's time to go. Uh. No. It can't be that thing. Whoa, wait, what? What? Hey, where are you go? We have to go Shut up, Custard. You. I gotta we go. Just go and get out. Go on without us. Hey, go. hey, be careful. They're gonna die, right? Please evacuate upwards and outwards. Upwards Huzzah. and outwards. If you're already at the topmost layer, then try to move as far outwards as possible. We gotta go see the, the water thing. It probably broke or is about to break. Go, go, go. Oh, it's a cutscene. Clorind. Oh, I love you. Hi. They're here. Oh Just my like God. I said. Gosh, she's beautiful. I love her. You're beautiful too. It's about to blow, You're isn't it? Time. But be ready to run. Why aren't we running now? Oh 
my god. Is he gonna try to close it? Is that good, Jeep? Dude, that was amazing. Total bat. Okay, well, that was cool. It didn't work. Just go, go, go. Three, two. Why are we counting? One. Oh, this is so cool, dude. Run, 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 run. Oh my god, this is so cool. That this was badass. For long. Find Nuvilet. Tell him the defenses are about to collapse. Then what will happen to you? Until he arrives, we're the last line of defense. Oh, the way she looks at you. I love her. I, I'm in love with you. I'm so in love with you. The gate. How long do you think it'll hold? That depends on us. Dude, that was so badass. What a cool cutscene. I love Risley's, like, fist. Oh, that was so good. I'm in love with both of them. Hey, we need you. Traveler, I need you to head to the opera house immediately. No, I need you to head down to the the prison. Farina will soon be meeting with the knave there. You must protect Farina and make sure she doesn't spend too much time alone with her. Too many things are happening. Okay, can you explain everything else to me later? Will do. You have my sincerest gratitude. Okay, you go down, I go up. We gotta go protect Farina from uh, the knave. Move, Matilda. over there. The knave is probably here already. We need to hurry. Are you two the traveler in Paimon? Yes. Monsieur Nervalet has left instructions. Please follow me. Okay. Though I'm sure he's already explained, this should be a mostly cordial conversation unlikely to give rise to violence. But it would be most appreciated if you could protect Lady Farina to the best of your abilities. I will do my best. Okay. Skip. Skip, skip, skip. I hope Farina doesn't die. <laughs> All right. Hopefully nothing bad happens. The awkward silence. I feel it, dude. I feel it. Oh, so you two are the honored guests Miss Farina mentioned. Yes. Of course, of course. How could they not attend a meeting such as this? Yeah. I must always have two or more guests at my dessert table. Otherwise, the occasion would be too lonely and unbecoming of my station. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance, traveler. I have heard much of your accomplishments. I am the Knave, one of the 11 Fatui Harbingers. Madam. Gracing me with your presence, you are beautiful as ever. So this is the knave? The head of the house of the hearth? And the Lenny sibling's father? She certainly doesn't seem easy to deal with. It's a pleasure to meet you, madam. I've already prepared seats for you. Come, sit beside me. Milady. Perhaps you two are unaware of how Miss Farina and I do things. You see, we actually recently agreed to get together for tea when we had the time. Wonderful! I love- Why do we- Why is everyone obsessed with tea in this Arkham world? See this? This is a limited type of confectionery that Miss Farina simply adores. Mm. There are only 16 slices sold every day. Here, why don't you and Paimon have a taste? Hey, hey, hey. I did my time, all right? I went down to prison. I'm a different man. I went to prison for eating cake. No more. I'm cakeless. Gluten free. She seems friendly enough, but that can't be all there is to her. The knave is a force to be reckoned with. I should be very cautious around her. That's what I'm saying. She's very polite and nice, but she's... She's scary. Traveler, what do you think of this cake? 
It is prison worthy. That's pretty good. That's good to hear. So what Child said was on the mark after all. You do share a taste in desserts with Farina and I. I do have a sweet tooth, yes. Wait, Child should have no reason to have said something like that. Yeah. I wonder how he's doing nowadays. You must have heard, right? He's suddenly gone missing. I'm really worried about his safety, you know. Here's to hoping that he's an excellent swimmer. Milady, I have faith in his abilities. Uh, since we're talking about him, I feel like I should add something. His martial prowess really looked certainly pretty impressive, yeah. Yep. Farina looks quite nervous. There must be some kind of bad blood between her and the knave. Oh. So you're also familiar with his aptitude for fighting, Miss Farina? Yes. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Child was subdued by Udex Nuvillette right in front of you. Yep. Against ordinary people, my colleague would never be on the back foot. But alas, he just never imagined he'd run into such a person. Hmm. I must express my admiration for Monsieur Nuvillette. Her voice actress? Oh, so good. She's just like, she's scary. I managed to find a few leads on his whereabouts. Hmm. Coming from you, that's not surprising at all. Uh, but I thought he would be happier to hear the news. Of course, but it's still a bit of a shame. You see, I would have been far happier had I received this news somewhat earlier, hmm. as you well know. A long time has passed since Child disappeared. Uh, uh, well, in any case, there's no need to worry. Yeah. We know for sure that Child is still alive. Oh, and just how do you know that? Because, uh... Yeah, Paimon, how do we, we know? we have evidence that proved he left the Fortress of Meridid. And where did he go after leaving the Fortress? Well... Great job, Paimon. Oh no, Paimon's statement just left us wide open. Thanks, Paimon! Oh god. The fortress of Meripede lies deep beneath the waves. Unless he pranced right out of the main gate, he must have had to swim for it. Do you have any proof that he surfaced safely? We do not. But there was also no evidence that he's been injured or killed. Ah, oh, that is good news at least. His sister Tonya sent a letter to Fontaine not too long ago. Since he was unfortunately unavailable, I picked it up on his behalf. How's Tusser doing? Do you have any idea how he usually writes back to his family? Dear Tonya, your letter made me feel like we were still enjoying our time in Snezhnaya together. I'm currently admiring the scenery on the streets in front of the Opera House. Is it something like that? She's turning up the pressure. I'm not sure if I'll be able to convince her, but I can at least try to distract her from Farina. That sounds good to me, yeah. Yeah, he would say something like that, yeah. All letters tend to follow the same few formats anyway, right? As long as the contents are accurate, it doesn't matter so much how it's written or how it's worded. <sighs> Hold on. The water in the teacup is shaking. That's not good. <laughs> I suppose this is also a sign of things to come, Miss Farina. Huh? Uh, I don't quite understand what you're trying to say. Have we entered into the next stage of the prophecy? No. <gasps> Cutscene. Oh god. <laughs> They've been holding it off, dude. My thanks to you both. I will take it from here. Oh. <laughs> He's got this. Let's go. Sure you don't need a hand? No. Quite sure. Oh, dude, wow. what a badass. So, what's your secret, huh? Uh, let me guess. <laughs> He's so annoyed. Nah, who knows? He's just like, please Maybe shut it's up. it's just your sense of responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. That's so funny. He's like, please shut up. Let me do my thing. What's he gonna do?
There's no way. A day may come when the prophecy is fulfilled. How is this man not an oracle? Forth, but it is not this day. Oh this ancient my God! Power could easily obliterate an entire race. A tsunami of fury Holy shit. would unleash endless catastrophe. <sighs> I'm getting chills. Oh my god, he is ultra powerful. That's all I have to this do? sentence is too severe. Forgive me for overruling it. This man is. Oh my god. So powerful. All right. Seems like the problem inside has been suppressed. He literally said, "No, not today." And just whoosh, Oh my dude. Oh my god. Let me guess. Oh my god. We're safe for now. I think so. <laughs> dude, just stop Indeed. it. But only for now. So it's only suppressed. I win this bet. You owe me a present. What a giga chad, dude. Uh, that was awesome. Very well. It was indeed just as you said. You made a bet? I love his voice. We made a bet on the size of your entourage. Cloran thought you wouldn't come down by yourself. I figured you would have at least brought a few people along for appearance's sake. It appears I underestimated just how confidential the mission was. Shouldn't you have gotten used to confidential missions by now? That's just how the courts operate. True. So what gift must the loser give? Tea? Mm. He already has tons of tea in his office. Yeah. I'm thinking about a set of legal codices. That wouldn't happen to be a dig at my lack of legal awareness, would it? Oh my god. Well, I'm sure his grace doesn't consider the fortress to be outside the law. I can hear her talk every day. I all was day. under the impression the residents of a place like this would be uninterested in the legal codices. <sighs> that was obviously a joke. <laughs> uh, anyway, you've still got some unfinished business to attend to in the overworld, correct? No need to stay here if you have a pressing matter. We all know you can't leave Palais Mermonia for long. Yeah, we kind of do. Thank you. I hope everything went smoothly with the Fatui Harbinger. I love him. I love Nuvolet. He's just so... Ugh. Dude, that cutscene was amazing. I must say, we've spent long enough playing house. I don't like that tone. Miss Farina, as the Hydro Archon, I am sure you understand the exact meaning of the phenomenon we just witnessed. Or should I say... That's what I originally thought, but looking at your expression, was I wrong? And you haven't a clue? What are you trying to say? At this point, I don't think there's any more need to speak as diplomatic representatives. Allow me to speak to you now as just a Fontanian. You know the prophecy by heart, and also that every part of it is being proven true. Yet... Here you are, relaxing, drinking tea, and eating desserts as if it's all nothing more than a few stray bugs in your garden. Do you really think that's acceptable? You do. You know what, though? She's not wrong. Literally, she's not wrong. I'm kind of on her side. The prophecy's hanging above our necks like a guillotine. Every faction is looking for a way to either avert the disaster or save their own. Yup. Even the orphans of the House of the Hearth have devoted everything to saving their homeland. Farina, it's time to grow up and do something. But you? It beggars belief just how nonchalant and carefree you have been. From the very beginning, you, the god Fosalor, you have utterly failed to take action. I'm on her side, okay? She's not wrong. You're wrong. I've never ignored the prophecy. 
Nor have I just been passing the time in self-indulgence. Retract your accusation and stop doubting the wisdom of the gods with such absurd conjectures. Yeah, well, what are you doing about it then, Farina? Huh? What actions have you taken? I am not alone in my doubts, you know. All the children of Fontaine may be harboring the exact same thoughts right now. Oh, great Hydro Archon. How are you going to save them? Save us? How are the people you've sworn to protect supposed to survive in a land that will soon disappear beneath the waves? I have my ways. And I've been working on them for all this time. Even if you look down upon me, you have no right to judge me. Fontaine will be saved. How though? Even, even if I still cannot see the true future right now, as long as I continue on as I am, I will be able to hold my head up high. Farina's not acting like her usual self. She's actually seriously refuting the knave's accusations. She means what she says. She's not putting on a front. Then I ask you, Miss Farina, just what have you been working on? Where can we see it and what is it doing to help? I... Wait, so was that all a lie? Or can she really not tell us? She was so full of conviction and con uh, confidence just now. But now she's deflated like a popped balloon. My machinations are just like the prophecy itself. They will only reveal themselves at the fated time. It is just that beings like yourselves are unable to perceive them as of yet. Mm, I see. As a god, the proof of your labor always lies beyond prying mortal eyes. Huh. Allow me to be so bold as to ask another way. Would it be possible for you to tell us the parts of your plan that are not confidential? Such as... Your emergency response plan for the impending disaster? <laughs> I have a plan, guys, okay? Guys, don't worry. I, Farina, have a plan. What is that plan? Well, I can't tell you about the plan. And the reason why I can't tell you about the plan is because... Confidential. It is confidential. Above your pay grade. I can't tell you. I have two pennies and a gummy bear and some floss. Surely I will do something with that, maybe. Uh, an emergency response plan? You were doing so good! Oh, that look in your eyes. Have you not even prepared one of those? Yikes. The the emergency response plan is also strictly confidential. <laughs> that is also confidential. I cannot speak of it. You shall not know about then it. Then allow me to jog your memory. Miss Farina, <sighs> what is the purpose of your oratrice mechanique d'analyse cardinal? And what do you plan to do with the massive amounts of indemnidium that has accumulated over the years? The oratrice? It, it's just like it appears to be. Hmm. So you also have no idea. If I'm not mistaken, someone's using it to prepare for something. But unfortunately, it would seem that someone is not you, Miss Farina. Ooh, you're hot when you're angry. I first caught wind of this when Linny tried to investigate the oratrice in the opera house. You see... Even just getting close to the core contaminated him with an extremely large amount of indemnidium. But even if that had nothing to do with you, then what could you possibly be working on, oh great Hydro Archon? Confidential. Oh, right. I almost forgot. Eudex Nouvellet is not at the tea party with us today. Miss Farina... I suppose you must have ordered him away to take care of some troublesome business. Ah, uh, yeah, yes, that's exactly right. Please keep it a secret for me. Of course I will. Although, I must say, Miss Farina, you seem quite insecure without the Udax by your side. Ooh, what a stab in the heart. Oh, very well. Let's stop that conversation here. There are still a few slices of cake left, so please... Help yourselves, everyone. 
These aren't topics I can speak about. I don't know even know what Nuvolet's task was. If I had to guess, he probably went down to deal with the surging primordial sea, but can he really deal with all that by himself? He can, and he did. And it was awesome. And is Farina being truthful or not? I don't know at this point. Traveler, I heard that you were recently commissioned to handle a few matters on behalf of the Udex. Why don't you take an extra slice of cake? Those who work hard deserve gratitude and praise. Yes, mommy. I'm Nave Orlikino. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am is what I meant to say. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You too, Paimon. Paimon, do what she says. Uh, thank you. Paimon will take you up on that offer. Uh, good. Good thing she says it. The Nave proceeds to change the topic and bring up a number of less significant matters. Okay, I can't read all that. We talk about different things. Oh, Paimon's super full. That cake was great. Good. It was poisoned. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If it's on my tea table, it must be of the highest quality. Uh, yes, and we must thank the Nave for bringing these over as well. You're welcome. I'm sure the cake also felt greatly honored to be featured at Miss Farina's table. This is so weird, but I dude. was merely catering to Miss Farina's tastes, seeking a chance to chat over tea. This is how we went from like, yes, yes, cake, 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 to what are you doing to help the people of Fontaine? Back to Enjoy your cake. Cake, cake, cake. I'm like, this is such a weird conversation. Mm, it is getting late. Why don't we call it a day? I'm pooped. There are yeah, still a few matters that I need to take care of, so I must take my leave now. Okay. Very well. We'll end it here. Mind seeing me off, traveler. We could use the opportunity to discuss child before I must be on my way. I don't know if I want to be alone with you, but sure, of course. Oh, I swear, oh, talk to Farina? Okay. If she says something insignificant, chat, I am never listening to you again, by the way. All the time, you guys are like, talk to this NPC. Talk to this NPC. And whenever I do, all they say is, that cake was good. And that's all they said. And you're just like, oh, thank God you listened to her say that. Oh, thank God. So it better be important. <sighs> the tea party turned out to be even more difficult than I'd imagined. Huh? Ahem, <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Is something the matter? If there's nothing urgent- That's all she said? Chat, that's all she said? Man, that was tough. What do you want? That's all she- I'm never- Listen to me. Come here. <sighs> I'm never listening to- I'm never listening to you again. I'm That's all she said. Oh, that was a hard conversation. Woo-wee. But you guys thought it was the most important lore to ever exist in I'm never listening to y'all again. Make sure you talk to Farina. Oh my God, if you miss this, dude, the whole quest is ruined. Okay, let's see what, what do you, hey Farina. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Cake was very good, but wow, 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 she was mean. Anything else? No, that's all I want to say. Okay. Thanks for wasting 30 seconds of my life. <laughs> okay, please I'm don't be mean. I'm glad that you were willing to come with me. Of course, child was just an excuse. I have no interest in your dealings with him. Do you not like him? That's what Paimon thought. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. What do you want to say? You lent your aid to the children of the House of the Hearth as their father. I would like to express my gratitude. Look, can I just say how hot it is that you say that? Like the whole father thing. I don't know, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm tired. Anyway, uh, there's no need. I didn't think that's what you wanted to talk about. Was there nothing else you wanted to say? That was all. Formal topics should be discussed in formal settings mm. and informal topics in informal settings. I know you just returned from the fortress of Meripede. Relax, I have no intention of trying to get anything out of you. Linny, Lynette, and Fremine are still there, and I trust their judgment and abilities. They've all been working very hard and she have scares always me. done all they can to fight back against anyone who tried to stop them, especially Lenny. You mean Rithesley. He's a tricky one to deal with. Mm. 
It's unfortunate that Linny's so eager to prove himself that he can't learn to rely on others, including me. By the way, and you can just consider this a bit of idle gossip. Okay. But what's your impression of Farina? I bet she smells good. Not Farina. You. I that came out wrong. I feel like Nave smells good. <laughs> I meant to say that Arlequino smells good. <laughs> That, dude, my that thought came out at the the wrongest time in the world. Oh my god! I thought I meant to say I bet Arlequino smells good. Like she probably has like really good like perfume on. That's the vibe she gives me. Now to answer your question about Farina, I don't know. Probably smells like meatloaf and toast or something. But um, regarding smell, um, I don't know. I feel like she's just not so sure about herself. Hmm. You are outside of our disputes, and the freest person in all of Fontaine smells like cake. Yeah. Move around most easily. Allow me to share my perspective with you. Okay. And that's everything that happened during the trial. Master Child was declared guilty and immediately transported to the fortress of Maropede. Didn't he say he was coming here on vacation? Does he not feel an ounce of shame for all the trouble he has caused? I... I... Forget it. He did give us an opportunity. I will be meeting someone shortly. Hmm. Do you require help with any preparations? No need. I will take care of it myself. I need to meet with Farina, Ooh. a Hydro Archon. She is at the heart of Fontaine. But what's fascinating about her is that she often seems more like a celebrity than a working Archon. I agree. Oh? Come over here, you little critter, you! Oh, you cat. dare to run from me? Stop right this instant! Very childlike, like, just like... Like, she shouldn't be an Archon. My goal is just to discover the location of the Gnosis. But I didn't expect the chance to approach Farina to be handed to me on a silver platter. This is so easy, it's actually making me a bit suspicious. Is this Arlequino in disguise? Is this Arlequino in disguise? Cause mamma mia. Well. Ah, wow. That's all I gotta say. Anything left unguarded is usually just bait. But no one will blame someone for taking the bait. After all, from the moment it was attached to the hook, the bait is meant to be sacrificed. Hmm. <laughs> It's just as I guessed in the second before I struck. The Hydronosis is not currently held by the Archon. Huh. In fact, Who has it? this Archon doesn't seem like a god at all. And I sense that she's under some kind of curse. Interesting. Who are you? And, and what are you trying to do? Please don't kill me. I'm begging you. The fear in her pupils is genuine, so perhaps she's not bait after all. Huh. Either way, targeting her has lost all meaning. Because an Archon wouldn't react that way. Hmm. I left the scene with ease. Nobody came looking for me, and nobody could serve as a witness to my near assassination of Fosalor. I suspect even Verena dares not mention this incident to anyone. Not long after, my informants confirmed what I had guessed. After returning to her quarters, Farina quietly cried alone. She was so scared that she could not sleep that night, nor could she even bring herself to eat her cake. Aww. There's no doubt that there's something wrong with her. Yeah. I began to entertain the possibility that she is not the true Hydro Archon. Perhaps Udex Nouvellette is actually the genuine article. Imagine? Oh my god. Like, I mean, dude, he's powerful, but he can't be, right? He, he wouldn't be able to be. But, like, Farina just seems so weak as an Archon. So it's like, what is the truth behind everything? Because he can't be the Archon. But, like... Oh. I have to find the Gnosis. If the Nuvillette hypothesis is correct, he is probably in possession of it. 
Mm. Alternatively, it might have been hidden in a place that's hard for ordinary people to access. Yes, father. My dear children, please speak. News from the fortress of Meripede. Master... Master Child has gone missing. On top of that, the contacts and guards we bribed at the fortress have all gone quiet as well. Probably the handiwork of that Rithesley. I'm afraid so. This is a good opportunity. The value of a Harbinger is much higher than most would imagine. We now have an excuse to exert diplomatic pressure on the Fontaine authorities. Yet Venti is the weakest of the seven Archons? Dude, didn't Venti like sneeze or something and then just like destroyed a whole mountain pass? I wouldn't say that's weak. Set up a meeting for me. I would like to meet the Hydro Archon and Udex Neuvillette. Oh, and I have an additional mission for you three. Yes, yes Father. Tartaglia's disappearance was not a part of my plan, but I can use it to make a breakthrough. With this as my excuse, I can ask for an official audience and continue my investigation of Farina and Udex Neuvillette. The initiative belongs to the House of the Hearth. My wish to investigate the Fortress of Meripede will be a front. Linny and his group will be responsible for the actual intelligence gathering. Hmm. You should know the rest. Linny's group is quite close to you, so they wouldn't have hidden anything from you. You attacked the Hydro Archon? Tried killing her. It wouldn't mean anything, even if you shouted it from the rooftops. After all, even Verena herself is still pretending that nothing of that sort ever happened. Uh, my god. All right, then. I've now had two chances to enjoy tea with Farina. I have to say, the leadership of Fontaine is even more inscrutable than I had imagined. I once surmised that Udex Nouvellette must be the Hydro Archon, but now, that doesn't seem right to me either. Mm -mm. How'd you come to that conclusion? I am a servant of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa. Over my years of service, I've learned how a real Archon conducts and carries themselves. Whether Udex Nouvellette or Farina, neither fits the bill. Mm. It's hard to imagine either of them as the Archon. Of course, that is all just how I feel. Gut feelings often do not require justification. It is, however, quite amusing to me that after all my years working in intelligence gathering, I've come to realize I am at a complete loss regarding the identity of the god of the land of my birth. Yeah, she definitely hasn't met Venti then, because Venti's just so lazy and just like drinks all day. Don't you think Fontaine is quite intriguing? A catastrophe looms, yet many secrets have yet to rise to the surface. <sighs> it looks like Fontanians will have no choice but to save themselves. I guess. Ultimately, though, one must survive in order to do anything else. Should the need arise, I would be happy to cooperate with you. You don't need to commit to anything right now, of course. Uh, I don't know. I have a feeling that the situation will continue to evolve. And as your name is often connected with noble deeds, I'm sure we will work together someday. Uh, Nouvellet? He certainly returned quickly. You must want to catch up with each other, so I'll leave you to him. Hmm. <laughs> She's scary. Nouvellet, is it over? For now, yes. But this issue will prove quite thorny in the long term. Mm hmm I'm concerned that sooner or later the yeah, what's up, Bran? Welcome in. will occur. Thank you for protecting Farina. May we ask what happened down there? Hmm. To put it simply, I used my power to force back the Primordial Sea and reseal the Sluice Gate. As for what happened on our side... You recount the happenings of the Tea Party to Nouvellet. Hmm. So as expected, the Knave has turned up the pressure on Farina. Yes. She's trying to feel her out. Though I'm still unsure as to her motives. Can I ask you some questions? Permission granted. You have enough power to force back the Primordial Sea? Does this mean you have some deeper connection with the Hydro Archon? Whoa. It can't be that you're the real Hydro Archon, right? But that's just a speculation on our part, though. <laughs> you can't tell us? Then... Then that's okay. We can talk about something else. 
We won't try to force you. No, no, shut up. Let's force him. <laughs> you guys in Fontaine are super strange. If by the phrase, you guys, you are referring to Farina and I, then although I'm not sure just what you are trying to imply, I must clarify that I do not share her positions on a multitude of topics. What did you sense in the fortress of Meripade? Did you manage to protect those that needed to be defended? I believe so. The fortress has a long and complex history. It has seen much grief and suffering. And now, another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn of events. What? Huh? Why is it raining all of a sudden? The clear sky suddenly filled with dark clouds. The rain became heavier, light rain soon growing to a downpour. And just moments before, Nouvellet has mentioned his sense of grief. Thinking back to the legend and what Fremenay said, it's sad that a dragon of water... It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. Wait, Nouvellet... You can't be. You may be closer to the truth than you think. Oh? And what are you thinking? He's the dragon sovereign of water. The dragon of... Uh, what? Monsieur Dragon! Huh? Please do not be so surprised. <laughs> eh, don't be so surprised. <laughs> Farina? My apologies. I am the Hydro Dragon. We were just guessing randomly. We didn't guess right, did we? You're not actually the Dragon Sovereign of Water, right? Well, if you don't want to confirm or deny... <sighs> you guessed correctly. Cats out of the bag. I sincerely hope you'll be able to keep this a secret for me. Cats out of the bag. Yes, I, I am. I am. Isn't it crazy? Oh my gosh. Of course, we'll definitely help you keep it a secret. There's still something Paimon wants to ask you, though. Please, go ahead. See, the reason why I'm not so surprised, chat, is because everyone has been thinking that, including myself, and so now it, it being confirmed, I already, like, knew that, you know? It was, like, it was, like, obvious. So... That's why I'm not, like, oh my god, you know? Like... I already knew that, but cool. Well, if you are the Dragon Sovereign of Water, and you are able to force back the Primordial Sea from the fortress, then since Fontaine's prophecy is all about seawater, couldn't you just use your power to solve the crisis? Just, like, solve it, dude. Easy. None of the currently living Dragon Sovereigns in the world, myself included, possess our full Dragonhood. They say that when the first usurper arrived on Tivat, they seized a part of the dragon's power. Today, that stolen power is the basis of the Archon's authorities. Mm. There are seven elemental Archons and seven matching dragon sovereigns. The dragon sovereign of water who lived through that era perished a long time ago. As their successor, I know far less of that part of our ancient history. In any case, I believe I will not be able to do much unless the Archon disappears and returns their elemental authority to me. Given the status quo, however, I would recommend finding another way to deal with the prophecy. Oh, so even you can't solve it. Oh, I still have some urgent matters to attend to at my office. If you have any more questions regarding ancient history, you are welcome to discuss them with me at a later time. Okay. Ah, please go right ahead. Yeah, he's like a reincarnation. There's a place that Paimon wants to go to. Traveler, why don't we pay another visit to the Fortress of Meripede? Paimon is a little worried. All right, sure. We'll see you another time. Take care. Successor. What? Dude, huge lore bombs, man. Crazy. Return to the prison to learn more about everyone's situation. Hey, yo, Custard, how you doing? How you guys doing? You, you guys are back? Yeah, surprisingly, Paimon wanted to come back for the food. You guys didn't get caught and thrown back down here, right? Huh? No, not at all. Ah, and here I thought you'd managed to escape from jail during all the commotion. I'd held you up as legendary jailbreakers, but now you're telling me you just never left? Uh, <laughs> we're sorry, but we just 
I had some business to take care of. Hmm. All right, all right. There's no need to get caught up in the details. We're just relieved to see you. Hey, it wasn't just me. Weren't you super worried as well? Uh, something like that, yeah. You were worried. I was also transferred to work in the kitchen a few days ago. I can still hear Quisto mumbling to the carrots. Are those two all right? Do you think they made it out alive? Probably. Whenever he'd say that, I'd tell him I'm sure they're fine. Wherever they are, they're kicking back with drinks in hand, enjoying the lovely scenery. Not far off. Hey, there's nothing wrong with worrying about your prison pals. Is there? These two are homies. I, mean, I like them, dude. I always love listening to all my gossip. I think Fontaine did a really good job with the side characters this time. These two, they sure are a lot warmer and friendlier than when Paimon first met them. I'm sure the welfare meals must have just skyrocketed in quality recently. Oh, well, if you say so. I'll be watching you to make sure you finish every last bite. All right, but let's go talk to Sanguini. Don't worry, we're doing great. We're fine, but what about you guys? It was such a huge mess. How bad was it? A few people sustained superficial injuries, but that's about the extent of the damage. Monsieur Nervulet paid us a visit. It was all thanks to him that we managed to suppress the crisis for the time being. Mm -hmm. oh, of course, we must also thank you for the help you provided. How did Nervulet know that he was needed here? Well, Miss he probably sensed has it. Strong resonance with the hydro element. When the water level rises, he can feel the waves. Yeah, he sensed it. I ran into the bombshell bros while bandaging the injuries of the wounded. They were mumbling the whole time about how you just ran down without a word. I'm so relieved to see that you're both all right. Yeah, for the time being, yes. If you're not too pressed for time, please stay with us a few more days. Just let me know if you get a craving for any particular dish so I can have Mr. Wolsey get your meals prepared. Oh, and please feel free to visit the infirmary for a break at any time. Thank I'd you. I'd like to take the opportunity to spend some more time observing your facial muscles as well. Your happy smiles are quite contagious, you Sijuin, know. They're so no memorable, thanks. and I've missed them immensely while you were gone. No thanks. I will not be a part of that. All right. That hot dog was extra dog no flavor. Guess. Very good. What suit will this next cart be? Uh, a bare teeth cat? Well, well, look who it is. What's up, friends? I met your dad. Traveler, Scary. <sighs> Hello, everyone. Looks like you're recovering nicely, Fremine. Mm-hmm. Thanks to everyone's support. Oh, right. I'm glad that Fremine is I... good. I managed to work up the courage to thank Miss Clarand in person. Good. Whoa, how did she react? Was she nice to you? Uh, she told me that it was nothing. It was as if saving a life wasn't a big deal to her at all. He she wants to say hi to you. She told me not to worry about it. Hi. He wants to say hi. He keeps. He keeps. You keep. You keep. Uh. He keep meowing. He keeps meowing very, very loudly. She didn't want to stress you out. That's all. She's right, and it's best not to dwell on it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but check this out. We went back to the opera house, and we met the knave. You met father? Yes. Did she say anything to you? Yes, she was scary, but also hot. She said a few things that were, uh, a bit hard to understand. And also scary. that she's looking forward to working with us in the future. It was a little surprising. Her attitude like. towards you is even better than what we'd imagined. <laughs> that's fantastic. So that's a good sign? You should believe her. She has her own way of doing things, and she'll do everything in her power to help those she considers close, which now might also include you. Are we friends? Mm -hmm. Father is very capable and also trustworthy. Doubt oh, that. Paimon just remembered that she thought Linny was a bit too proud as well. She said that you should learn how to rely on others sometimes. Uh, got it. Yeah, she said that actually. Uh, that does sound like something that father would say. <laughs> hey, are you going to stay here for the next few days? Probably not. Looks like it, yeah. Never mind, we are. Excellent. I will host a tea party. For real? Then Paimon wants another serving of cake. You f whatever. Another implies that you were already served some delicious cake while you were up there. Hmm, how lovely. God. Well, 
Next time, you're going to have tea and snacks with us. Bet. Tea again? Cake again? Paimon, your metabolism will catch up with you at one point and you're gonna gain 94 pounds overnight. Oh, they're not here. It's just the lovers. Jurier? Miss Sijuin told me you still haven't eaten. Yeah, I was working on something, so I forgot. Uh, that's no excuse for Huh? Jurier, Lurveen, we're back! They care about each other. Shut up and kiss already. Hello there. It's been quite the mess here recently. How have you been? Oh, we're fine, thanks. How are you two? And you, are you still taking the secret passageway from the infirmary to work on the ship? Yep. That is still top secret, though. So don't say a word to anyone. I already told everyone. It can be a bit annoying when there are lots of people in the infirmary, but I still prefer taking that route over the one from the Duke's office. Now kiss. I mean, the infirmary does make it easier for you to slack off. Oh, yeah? Then why are you also here so much? God, the tension between these two. You two really are just using your jobs as a cover for your relationship, aren't you? <laughs> Paimon knows. Not at all! Sure. What's up, Risley? Do my eyes deceive me, or did I just see two inmates come back after making it to the surface? Some strange winds blowing of late. We wanted to see how the fortress is doing. Is everything still all right? We don't care. Pull that camera. <laughs> We're fine, for the most part. Nervalet came down and took care of the worst of it. If that's the case, why don't you just ask him to stay here? He won't stay here. Oh, yeah, what a brilliant plan. Let's go convince the Udex himself to exchange the Courts of Fontaine for a puddle of water in the middle of nowhere. Exactly. I don't think it's going to work. He came here in a hurry and left without even stopping for a cup of tea. He did remember to take Miss Sijuin's gift with him, though. He sure sounds super busy. Miss He's Coran an important guy. Left as well. She also took her gift from Miss Sijuin. Were the gifts milkshakes? Nervalette got the milkshake. Clorand received lipstick instead. Random, but okay. Uh, those aren't even remotely alike. Well, it's Nervilet's own fault for making Sijuin worried about his health by working so much. But besides that, our head nurse is still pretty fond of picking out beauty products for the ladies. Mm. Oh, and I have some gifts here for you as well. Are these from Sijuin too? Nope, they're from yours truly. You've already wrapped Thank up your you. work in the fortress, so you can return to the surface at any time. You haven't yet served your full prison term, however, so you may continue to use your cell until your term is up. I'm out of here, bro. For real? Then we can stay here for a really long time? Why would you want to? You may access the cafeteria for free. Hooray! Just remember to come complete your paperwork once it's time for your release. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm out. We're back in our cell again. We're no longer prisoners, though, so it really doesn't feel the same. It feels like a huge weight is off our shoulders. Sure feels that way. But the truth is, we never did anything bad to begin with, so True. I'm not sure why we put so much pressure on ourselves. We were really lost in the sauce, Paimon. Paimon, is there something you'd like to say? Huh? How did you know? Because you usually just immediately fall asleep. Hey, that's not true! All right. Okay, Paimon just wanted to say that we really are an amazing duo after all. That is true. It's like... We've now gone to so many places together and become friends with so many people. We've never stopped traveling or stopped meeting new friends. There are so many bad things in the world, and we're just two people, but we've still been solving problems no matter where we go. Isn't that pretty cool? We're the best adventurers ever. You're counting Paimon today? Aren't you the only adventurer here? Well, being a guide counts, yeah. Let's ask Catherine to give Paimon an adventurer here. Paimon will also be an adventurer from today forward! Ah, uh, just got thoughts making Paimon giddy. Uh, oh, Paimon's gonna crash, so you sleep soon too. Me too. The last time we fell asleep here, we woke up to a whole mess outside our cell. The primordial seawater nearly rose up. That was so scary. We I feel like something bad's now, about to happen, right? chat. We'll be fine, so don't worry, Paimon. Alright then, good night to you, traveler. Good night, Paimon. Oh, that was cute.
cute. What's happened? Is he in the primordial water, just floating? Oh my god. <gasps> what? What does that mean? What a, you can't leave us on that? You can't leave us on that, dude. Oh, the cliffhanger ending, dude. Oh my God. I can't wait for the next one. I Even though we've been streaming for eight hours, I can't wait for the next Archon Quest, man. I'm gonna be honest. Act three, slow. It was good. It was slow. Act four, it picked up, dude. It picked up. It was really good. If you're watching this on YouTube, let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this quest. I cannot wait for the next quest. I think Genshin Impact is doing better and better and better and better with these Archon quests. I cannot wait to see what happens. Make sure to say bye to YouTube.